everybody, happy Friday and welcome to Getting Back a Crystal. I feel like it's been forever since we've been here baking. It's been almost a month. I mean, we made pretzels on New Year's Eve, but that wasn't really baking, was it? It didn't really count. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are doing well. It still feels like that weird time, like that between Christmas and New Year's is weird, and now it's like, oh yeah, back to real life and there's no more holidays till like May? I don't get a three-day weekend till May. So it's just a weird time. But tonight we are making chocolate Swiss roll. Let me tell you guys something that happened. So we made the postcards, our, our Christmas card exchange. And I've sent them out to many of you. More will go out next week. If you guys are waiting on your prizes from New Year's Eve, they have not gone out yet. They will go out next week. Um, we started to get them done and then some other stuff came up. We had other stuff that needed to be done, prioritized. We're getting there. Um, lots of people are saying buffering, Dan. How are we doing on our end? Okay. Refresh if you're buffering. I don't know. It looks good on our end. Um, so I was making out some postcards and I, I, I took a look at the postcards and realized um, I, I made a mistake on the recipe, you guys. <laughs> Let me just tell you, if you guys are going to make the pumpkin roll, you'll see tonight when I do it with the chocolate Swiss roll. And you've seen it if you've seen me make the pumpkin roll. When you take it out of the oven and you take it out of the pan, roll it up. The, the recipe doesn't say that. Uh, later on, it tells you to re-roll it, but it never tells you to roll it in the first place. I, I, I missed that part. I triple checked before I sent it to print. I triple checked. I thought everything was right, and I forgot to tell you guys to roll it. Hopefully, it if you don't roll it, it doesn't screw things up, but you want to roll it while it's warm so it kind of keeps that shape as it starts to cool, but you're going to unroll it while it's still a little bit warm, but I don't know how it affects it if you don't uh, roll it in the first place. Are you going to get one of those label printers and print out the detail and then next and then we can send it out to everybody nope i'm just wishing everybody luck with their pumpkin roll recipe <laughs> just roll it up guys roll it up you'll see me do it tonight um but other than that yes uh if you guys have not received your postcards yet like i said stuff will go out next week on probably monday we're gonna try to find some time this week to do it <sighs> beginning of the year is just mad rush of like oh crap all the stuff we didn't do last year and new things coming up so we're getting there we're getting there guys be patient with us we will get them all out to you um i did see a super chat here hello pj with the super chat hello, thank PJ. you so much for the support and for showing up we love having you here he says hey everyone so i don't think we can trust chris anymore i mean think about it if chris crossed applesauce imagine what he'll do to us <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's a> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Chris says that uh, he didn't just cross the apple, he left him mashed and sauced. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Uh, Jess says, I'm finally starting my card pile tomorrow. It's a lot of work. It really is. Um, You get way more cards than we do, but just the effort of like sitting down and... and making out a card to every single person, it, it takes a lot more time than, than you people would think. So we're, we're trying, guys. And we did go to the post office today. Everything that um, has arrived has been picked up. So if it's still on its way, that's fine. We'll, we'll get it. Uh, Chris, this member super chat, thank you so much, says, I'm here to provide positive reinforcement, sound life advice, uh, no Oxford commas, and a strong moral compass. That's Hashtag his, uh, vodka for crystal. <laughs> that's actually his, like, Tinder line, or wait, Facebook line? That's, like, his byline. The, that whole thing? Uh, including the no Oxford commas? <laughs> if you don't know what an Oxford comma is, look it up. It's very important to me. <laughs> but I still love you. Is there a recipe for tonight? Yes, I just realized as we were getting started here and setting everything up, I did not pin it to the recipes I've made on the show. Um, I have been trying to remember to put the link to the recipe when I make the post. Unfortunately, on Instagram, you can't post a clickable link. But if you guys are on Facebook, when I make the original post on the Facebook group, I do try to remember to post the link there so you guys can check it out. Um, but I did move it now. It is on the uh, recipes I made on the show board on Pinterest. So if you guys don't already, make sure you go over to Pinterest. Create an account if you don't have one. It's really an awesome website. You can find... Uh, Lots of really cool things, and then lots of things that link nowhere. But there's lots of really cool things on there. And that's where all my recipes are. Uh, Chris says, I uh, didn't go to Oxford. You don't have to have gone to Oxford. You just have to put in that comma before the and. It's very important to me. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, Amanda with the super chat, and I thought of you, and, and this relates to your comment, because you said you might be baking along tonight, and I, I failed to post the recipe on Pinterest. Apologize. Uh, she says, Crystal, I should be baking with you, but asthma is, is fla flailing? really bad so i might 
going. Uh, what'd you say? Flaring. Flaring. That's that's the word I was looking for. It might be flailing. Just uh, I don't know. I don't know what your asthma does. Uh, so I may be going to bed early tonight. I'm sorry, friend. I hope it uh, gets better soon. That is no fun not being able to breathe. We always feel so bad when Blake's asthma flares up and like he, you're just miserable. You just like can't get air. What do you do? Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Reports that no buffering is happening. So, okay. Good. Good. Glad. If you guys have any issues, please just refresh. Everything looks good on our end. So, like I said, tonight we are making a chocolate Swiss roll. If you guys saw me make the pumpkin roll, the pumpkin roll is a pumpkin bread with a cream cheese filling. This is a chocolate bread cake. Chocolate? Something? Um, with a chocolate, like, whipped cream filling, basically. Dan and I were talking about pumpkin roll, and he's like, could you make pumpkin roll out of, like, other things? things because because he forgot we made lemon roll one time which was a total fail don't make that recipe i'm sure there's a good pumpkin roll recipe that one was not it um and he requested to have a chocolate one with a chocolate filling lots of the the chocolate cake ones have a white filling so i did have to scrounge a little bit to find a recipe with a chocolate filling that looked good but we did it i found one are you messing with my lighting <laughs> Chocolate confection. Confection sounds really fancy to me. I don't think this is that fancy. It, it might look kind of fancy. Um, I, I was talking to somebody once about baking, and they had a different word for like a... Basically, this is what could be called a jelly roll. Um, it's, it's a jelly roll pan, and it doesn't have to be jelly in it. It's called a jelly roll. Um, but there, I don't remember what the fancy word, I think it started with a P, I don't know. There's a fancy word for when you make a bread and roll it up with the frosting inside of it. I'm not that kind of fancy. It's just a flat cake with the frosting rolled up inside of it. Although, like I said, this frosting is more like a whipped cream. Um, not a fan of, like, Cool Whip, but I'm not mad at homemade whipped cream. So hopefully this turns out well. Um, it's going to be super, super chocolatey. It should be pretty good. Marianne, member for seven months of the RFS fam level. Thank you so much for being a member and for your member super chat. Wishing everybody a happy new year. Thank you so much. Um, Marianne, you received your calendar, right, Dan? Is that who you told me received the calendar? Sorry, I got to take this away from me. <laughs> Stop eating the candy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that arrived safely. Your address didn't fit, like... When you fill out the customs form to send something internationally, there wasn't things for the boxes, and I had to talk to the person at the counter and be like, what do I put where? And you'll see some stuff scribble out on that customs form, but I I'm glad it arrived. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. Uh, Afriel says, it's a crystal bake. Who cares what it's called, right? That's what I'm saying. Look, it it's a chocolate cakey roll. It's it's delicious. It's gotta be, right? I, I hope this doesn't fail. I'm a little hesitant about this because the lemon roll was a fail, but that cake was just really, really dry, if I recall correctly. Um, pumpkin roll is amazing. My, my recipe rocks. Um, Sam says it's whipped cream. You have to say the H. <laughs> okay, Blake. That's how Blake, Blake likes to mess with us and pronounce the H's in things and be like, why? <laughs> no, it's too hard. Uh, jelly Roll and Swiss Roll are the same. They've made some amazing ones on the Great British Baking so Show. Yes, and I was trying to tell this girl, like, oh, yeah, it's a Jelly Roll. And she's like, no, it's a whatever the fancy word. I don't know. Maybe someone can Google it and see what the fancy word is for it. It, it makes it sound like you should be buying it in a high-end bakery, but it's a damn Jelly Roll. Get, get off the high horse. It's a Jelly Roll. All right, so this recipe has measurements. If you guys noticed when I posted the recipe card, I did include the, the weights on things. We've talked about this before. Baking is a science. There's not a whole lot of room for error, but you know, you can usually make something that tastes pretty good. But if you want it to be perfect, you should be weighing every time. Um, I, I don't weigh my ingredients. Most recipes don't show the weight. So I don't know how, and when you look it up different, like flour weighs differently than sugar. And it, I've tried to do the conversions. For some of you guys that are, um, not in America, when I was sending the, the card, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna just uh, convert all these measurements into like metric measurements. That's harder than it sounds. So sorry if you're not in America and you use metric like normal people should be doing, but you're gonna have to do the math yourself. <laughs> sorry. I didn't realize that at the time when I made the recipe that we do have um, lots of international people. Just know if you're in a place where um, you don't use a cup as a measuring device, it's, it's not just a random cup out of your your cupboard, because apparently that comes up a lot with people who are not in America when they're trying to use a recipe that is from America. They're like, what's a cup? What do I use? And Marianne says, we have Google for that. And I'm sure it makes much more sense to you than it does to me, because 
they barely even teach us the metric system. We're kind of like in science class a little bit aware of it, but I I tried. I tried for you, Marianne. Actually, yours was the first one I tried when we were sending your calendar, and I'm like, I'm going to do this. Just can't do it. I just, I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. But for this recipe, I am going to weigh it because I am concerned about the cake turning out too dry like the lemon one did. So I do have my handy dandy kitchen scale. We use this for so much stuff. Um, anybody who received our Christmas cookies, this is what they were weighed on. So we knew how much the package weighed um, to ship it. Um, but I use this all the time. Like this recipe calls for, I think it was five ounces of, yeah, five ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. I have like a 10 or 12 ounce bag. I measured out 150 grams. Much easier, it's much more accurate. Uh, Lily C. Case, a Swiss roll is a fancy word for jelly roll cake. No, but there was something else, and I was like arguing with her that it was a jelly roll. I, there, there is another word for it, because then like she explained to me what it was, and it was a damn jelly roll. It, <laughs> there's something else. Okay, so we're going to, like I said, go ahead and weigh everything out, and our first step here is going to be to prepare our pan by lining it with parchment paper. I did not used to do this. When I made the pumpkin roll, I used to um, just like grease and flour it, but very often the pumpkin roll would stick. A couple times ago when I made it, I tried the parchment paper, game changer. If you're making a jelly roll and you need to flip something out of a pan where it's a long flat cake like this, put parchment paper down. It makes all the difference in the world. Uh, according to Google, a jelly roll is also called a roulade. Okay, yes, I think that's what it was. I think that's what she was trying to tell me. I, I think that's how it's pronounced, because it looks like it might be French. Yeah, I think that's what she was telling me. And I was like, oh yeah, jelly roll. She's like, no, no, it's not a jelly roll. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a jelly roll. Um, this recipe does ask for a 12 by 16 inch pan. I don't have one of those. I have a 10 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter. So we're gonna make that work. I don't think it really makes too much of a difference. It would make it a little thicker or thinner depending on the size of your pan. This is what I make my pumpkin roll in. Hopefully this recipe translates to that size because that's what we're using. Everything else I have is significantly different in size and would not work. So we're gonna try that. Oh, I need to put parchment paper. That's what I, why I grabbed this. <clears throat> Yes, Brittany, a Yule log is pretty much the same thing. It's just rolled up with the frosting inside. It's a much easier to eat cake. I'm not sure why you guys are having buffering. What day is Mario Kart Day? That is going to be on the 18th on Terry's birthday. If you guys saw the calendar, you may have noticed we are not really doing Wednesday shows this month. Uh, like I said, we've been really busy with lots of stuff going on, so um, we're just doing one Wednesday show this month. We'll see what next month brings, but this month we're just doing it on the 18th. That will be Mario Kart night. I think it has to do with like a server hop issue where some people in some regions are having issues. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not having issues and um, my dad is all green. So, it you know, it goes to other like places first, you know? Right. So. Well, that was not a very well cut piece of parchment paper, but here we go. We're going to make it work. You just want to make sure you don't have little pieces hanging on because they will get into the cake itself. It doesn't have to be straight. As long as you get it across the bottom, uh, when I take it out, I will run a knife around the edges and that will help to get rid of, uh, or to avoid any sticking. As long as it's across most of the bottom, then you flip it out. Should be just fine. And Brittany says, is only Washington people having buffering? Yep, YouTube hates Washington today. Are you guys still having bad weather out there? Is it from that? Nope, Cyber Husky's buffering in Southeast Michigan. I think I sprayed it first. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it just to be safe. Try a different brand of 
uh, spray stuff. When I was at my mom's house, I used one and it sprayed so well and so evenly. The Baker's Joy works really well, but every can I've had does not spray evenly. It's like, it blobs. So we may have to look into some, some new brands. I know I had one other one before and I didn't really care for it, but there's other options. All right, so the pan is ready. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350. Hey Dan, your pan of the juice of a thousand meats is still here. Oh yeah. <laughs> With the juice of a thousand meats. It's so heavy. It, it is. is. Reminds me of like Thor. I am physically incapable of lifting a cast iron pan with one hand. Like my arm would just fall off. <coughs> All right. So first step, as usual, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. It's gonna be flour and cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt. Uh, there will be mixer. I'm just not there yet, and I didn't bring it over here yet. Hey, get out of there! Get out of there! You little terror! <laughs> What's happening now? I don't know. I found one. <laughs> the circle of life. All right. <laughs> All right. So I set this to zero after I put my bowl on it, and we want, let's see, 63 grams of flour. I'm interested to see the difference between the weight and the, the weighted and the measured. Oh yeah, I guess I could have measured it out and see, let's do that. Let's, let's measure and see how different it comes out. Right. I'm all, ooh. Come on, get back to zero. What are you doing? Thank you. All right, so it calls for half a cup. Normally I would just do this. Seventy-three, so it's 10 grams more, which is pretty significant when there's only 63 grams to work with. too much back in. <laughs> I hear one of the cats snoring. I don't know who it is. I just hear snoring. All right, 63 grams. And then we want a quarter cup of cocoa powder, which is 30 grams. So that's going to bring this to 93. I hate when the cocoa powder gets empty because it's floofy like flour and it's really hard to scoop out. <laughs> Bolton says, I have to pick up heavy stacks of cast iron pans all the time because that's how Don keeps them. They're horribly heavy and it hurts my arms. Well, then I suggest you make Don pick them up. That's what I would do. Hey, these are yours and they're heavy. You have to come move them. Try that, see if it works. Okay, so we're at 63. We wanna to get to 93, but I'm not gonna be able to remove it once I put it in there. Interesting. So that quarter cup only got me to 86. This is why weighing is important. I would have had more flour and less cocoa powder. Ooh. Oh, come on. Brittany says, why not zero out the scale in between each ingredient? Oh, I could, but the math's not that hard. 
Do you need me to buy more of that? No, I have another container in there, but it just barely went to 93. Oh, this is the stuff that's a lie. Like, it doesn't taste good. It does not like, taste good. Like, if you good. need can, if you need chocolate in an emergency, that's This not is it. not it. That's it's not bad. it. do those cocoa powder challenge to yourself. Yeah, I had Baker's Chocolate in a Random Friend Squad video, and then I'm like, a chocolate in the video, and Chris is like, yeah, but it's not that kind of chocolate. I'm like, pish posh. <laughs> Chocolate's chocolate, chocolate right? Chocolate. Chocolate. It's I'm... never let me down up until this point in my life. It's never let me down. <laughs> Baker's Chocolate's even worse than cocoa powder it's yeah. even worse than the darkest of dark chocolate. and then i went to michigan and tried carob not chocolate Ooh. and that was another thing it wasn't too bad but it was also like it was, it was nothing all right so it wants a teaspoon of baking powder which is four grams we're at 93 that's a teaspoon that's 97 so it would have been Mama Much more. And a half a teaspoon of salt, which is two grams. Now, Bernie says she used to eat baking chocolate as a snack. No. No? Alright, so we just want this to go up two grams. Let's see. We're at 99, so still had to remove a little bit of salt there. You messing with me, it's going 99, 100. I think we're good. Okay, so this gets mixed together. <laughs> Jess says, carob is a lie for sure. It tastes like dirt. It did, it did, <laughs> yeah. Amanda says that Chris got a work call and is going to pick up heavy whipping cream for me. Awesome, tell him to get the tall box. Um, cause I think it, it uses, a a cup and a half, which I, maybe the small one is two cups. Oh, I can never remember. I made Dan get the tall box, but look, if you have extra, you can always use some cream cheese and a little bit of sugar and salt and make that amazing mock clotted cream, which is my go-to like whipped cream that I make now to put on pancakes and stuff. We made that when we made the scones that Linda sent us. And if you guys remember, I tried to make clotted cream, like the traditional way where you put it in a pan and leave it in the oven for like a million hours, I think overnight, and it's supposed to develop a film. And that was all it did and never, never became any sort of clotted cream. It was rotten. It was awful. It was really awful. Um, so then we made the, thank goodness I had found that recipe for the mock clotted cream. It's basically cream cheese flavored whipped cream and it's freaking amazing. And you should put that on everything. It's great on fruit, it's great on pancakes, um, it's just great by the spoonful. It's perfect on scones. I make it every time I make scones. So uh, yeah, you, you can make that with your excess heavy cream. There's an idea. All right, let's see. I mixed my dry ingredients, so now we're going to put the eggs and sugar. This recipe has a lot of eggs in it. Dan asked me if I needed butter taken out today, and I looked, and it just, it, usually recipes have either oil or butter, sometimes a mix of two, but I said, no, it's an oil recipe, and I'm like, but there's only two tablespoons of oil. Like, where's all the liquid come from? Uh, the four eggs, apparently. <laughs> this one uses a lot of eggs. Amanda, make sure you have enough eggs. Uh, Jordan, I agree with you. I love white chocolate. I wish it had a different name so people didn't have to argue about whether it's chocolate or not. Um, that's my favorite. I love it. It's clean, but I haven't baked in a while. I'm you know, just gotta make sure. <coughs> hey, Megan. She says, howdy, y'all. Uh, Afriel says it's pretty good on cinnamon rolls, too. I bet. I bet that would be amazing. Amanda, you're my people. White chocolate is the best. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so we're gonna do our four eggs. Coco snoozing and Mama, oh. Is he the one that I heard snoring? Uh, yeah, and then Baxter's <laughs> playing with that round toy, the orange toy, and nobody ever played The last, with. like, it's three loud. days he's been obsessed with the, the toy that has the balls that go around in three layers. It's loud now. He is obsessed with it, um, which is great at, like, two in the morning. They broke all the other mechanical toys. Yes. So that green dome with a feather, 
They broke that little pizza thing that like gets like that goes around and around and it's got like the blue sheet on top of it. Yes. Like, they broke. They've broken all the. All yeah, we'll have to get them toys. some more like active toys because they are pretty damn destructive. Yeah. Even the cat tree. The cat tree was in great shape until the kitten showed up and just started tearing the rope off of it. It's just more foot traffic too. Yes. It's just more foot traffic. Yeah, the other cats are older and lazier and didn't really, like, they'd scratch a little, but they wouldn't really go nuts on it. These cats go nuts for everything. It doesn't give me a weight for the eggs, so let's hope our eggs are the right size. It just says four eggs. We're going to add two-thirds cup sugar to this which is 135 grams. Just wants to know how much our dozen eggs are. I paid 298, 289 or 298 a dozen the other day. No, did you really? That's, that's cheap. Where that, at? Maybe that's milk. No, milk might have been more than that. Look, at Aldi, they used to be about two bucks a dozen and they've gone up to four something lately. They've, they've been bad. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you go to the store more than I do, but like you just get the things on the list. Um, I'm sitting there like sticker at, shocking, like oh my god. I look a little bit, but the I mean, if, shocks if we need it, we need it. Like it's like getting gas. I'm not gonna look at the price of gas. I don't know what gas costs right now. I'm not gonna look. I need the gas. I have to drive. I'm just gonna buy the damn gas, and it's gonna suck. That's uh, all I know. But we uh, the, uh, eggs are expensive enough, Jess, that we have been complaining for a little while now on how much uh, eggs are. Yes, especially when I bake so much. All right, so two thirds cup, it says 135 grams. There's one third and it's 68 grams. 429 a dozen for the cheapest eggs at Meyer. I, you know what, I, can, I think that 489, 420, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah I think that's about right. Yeah, the 18 right. pack was like six something. Okay, that sounds about right. Oh, 134, we were darn close that time. I'm gonna play this game where it's 136. Nope, take some out. 134. Add some. Come on. Alright, 135 grams. I, I missed the beginning of the show. Is this because the recipe had it in different measurements? The recipe has the weight. And technically, if you want to be more precise with baking because it is a science, you should be weighing your ingredients. But Most recipes, at least that I use, do not use, they don't give you weight. But when you made the recipe card for this chocolate Swiss roll. I included the weight because it's included here. Oh. Yes. Just in case anybody wants to weigh it. You guys watch the show. I don't usually weigh my ingredients. I just stole the picture for the thumbnail. I didn't read it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so four eggs, 135 grams of sugar. We're gonna mix that up. Uh, until lemon yellow and foamy. Oddly specific. And to that, once that is lemon yellow and foamy, we're going to add the oil, which is going to be two tablespoons or 28 grams. Where is Mooch? He's on his pillow. You can see his ear. And there, that's, that's Mooch's ear. Don't say his name two more times or we will wake him up. All right, what did I say this was? 28 grams. That only gave me 25. than two tablespoons. I don't know if they round or if, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe my things are off a little bit, my measuring cups and spoons. Has Mama Cat got her name yet? No. We're still using Mama as a placeholder. We sit around here and we like suggest things all day long. We just can't settle on anything. One of these days. Look, I'm still not 100% sold on Baxter and Roxy, but at some point a decision has to be made. All right, our next step is going to be a half a teaspoon of instant coffee. Uh, so I looked into this and I did post about this when I made the post with the recipe. You can use instant coffee and instant espresso interchangeably one-to-one -one in a recipe, not a problem at all. The espresso, so 
putting coffee in a recipe. I know somebody had commented on the the uh, Instagram post on the Gonna Make a Crystal page saying that they wouldn't try this recipe because it had coffee in it. Look, I don't like coffee. I don't want to taste coffee in anything. I would not put coffee in a recipe if you could taste it. Trust me. I would not. My mom, when we went out for our Christmas uh, work lunch, my mom got a slice of mud pie. I don't know what a mud pie is. Like, chocolate, right? Sounds amazing. Let's do this. Uh, I took a bite and it was coffee flavored chocolate. Like, super coffee flavored. I was done. I didn't want any more of it. I will not eat or drink anything coffee flavored. Uh, the coffee in a chocolate cake recipe helps to bring out and like enhance and, and make the chocolate flavor more rich. So when you use espresso instead of uh, instant coffee, it just makes it more rich. I promise you guys, you do not taste the coffee in it. Everything that I've made with this, and I've used this a few times, there's, there's a good chunk missing. Um, everything I've made with this, you do not taste coffee. The, the chocolate flavor is more overwhelming or something happens to negate the coffee. I don't know. You don't taste the coffee, I promise. Do not let that scare you away from this recipe. If you don't have it and don't want to use it, I'm sure it won't really make a difference. It only takes a half a teaspoon, which is almost nothing. So you can probably still make it without it. Uh, well, it says 10 years down the road, she'll still be Mama Cat. Uh, Kitty would like to have a word with you. <laughs> She's still looking for her name. We had a Mama Cat when I was a kid, and she was a uh, tortoiseshell cat. And so we called her Patches sometimes, but it wasn't really a good name for her. So she was mostly Mama Cat. Mud pie cookies is not coffee. Somebody screwed up that recipe. It was cake. It was like a like a whipped cream kind of like it wasn't a cakey cake it was like whipped creamy i i don't know but it was disgusting and all i tasted was coffee where do you stand on tiramisu no thank you it tastes like coffee um also it's got like cookies in it that sit in liquid and it gets mushy so between the mushy and the coffee i want absolutely no part of that i i mean being italian i should right i, I should want tiramisu no between texture and flavor it is not my jam at all and i tried it from a few different places, not something I want. Oh, Sam's leaving because she's buffering too much. I'm sorry, friend. So you are a fan of Trace Leches. Oh, soggy cake? No, no soggy cake for me at all. I don't like things that are like wet. That's gross. No, no Trace Leches for me. There's like some membrane chunk in here I'm gonna get out. Excuse me. I need to be alone with my eggs and sugar. You need to come out of here too. I didn't get my membranes out and they turned into blobs. Yeah, can you see on the camera? No, Brittany's with me on tiramisu. Uncle Yukon also hates the smell of coffee. It did not used to bother me. Like, I've never... I drank coffee, like, when I was an edgy teenager, and that was the thing to do when I hung out at the coffee shop and stuff. But that was it. I'm not a coffee drinker. It didn't used to bother me. Um, once I got the popular sickness, it turned into a really, like, rancid, disgusting, chemical-y smell for me. And that's the one thing that I've not recovered on that I can point out. There's, there's a couple other things that are not as good to me. But the, the smell of coffee has been absolutely ruined for me. Can't do it. And they make it all day long at work, and it just smells like coffee in the middle of the office all day long where the kitchen area is. Now, Tristan says, flan is gross, and it's everywhere in Florida. Blake and I made flan once. He had to make um, some sort of, like, Hispanic, for Spanish class, uh, I think they were assigned a country, and they had to make a Hispanic uh, food. And of course, we're going to do a dessert. He chose flan. We made it. It looked beautiful. I wanted to like it. Um, it was disgusting. I No, texture, not my jam. Not at all. I feel like uh, coffee is, is a, a divisive thing. Uh, Alan Fairchild says, hi, I am here. So am I. Let's hang out. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, friend. Uh, there are 96 of you guys here. If you guys haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. It does help back-end algorithm -y thingies and stuff. Now, uh, everybody else says, I live in the wrong part of Washington State to be allergic to coffee. The baristas in the area all know me. <laughs> allergic? What What are you allergic to? Because usually if you're allergic to something that's not a, a specific, like, I'm allergic to strawberries. Um, you're allergic to, like, a thing in it. 
Like, is it the coffee bean itself, or is it something about how coffee is made? I'm interested to know. That way I can tell people I'm allergic to coffee, so they'll leave me alone and stop telling me to try this one drink. Because I love caramel, but I've never had a caramel flavored coffee drink that actually tastes like caramel. It just tastes like coffee every time. I'm done. I'm not trying the caramel flavored drink. I don't care how good you say it is. It tastes like coffee. Uh, flan is like jello. Yeah, it's like somewhere between jello and pudding, and it's just, it's not my, not my jam, not at all. Luckily, your friend says he'll go all the way around to get to the same aisle to not have to walk down the coffee aisle. That's, that's extreme, I don't go that far. I just, I hate going in in the morning and it smells like coffee. All right, does that look, uh, what, it, what, what was my specific instruction here? Lemon yellow and foamy. That's pretty foamy and pretty lemony. I think we're good. We're gonna add our however many grams of oil. I don't know, I measured it. Were you making a tamal? Yeah. I can smell it, it smells like masa. Blake made tamales when he was in uh, North Dakota. He came and told us all his stories the other night and uh, I told him now he has to help me to make tamales because I've been wanting to do that. I just have not ventured into it. It seems like a lot of work. Afriel says, Doc can't figure out what it is. It gives me hives. Huh. Interesting. Uh, half a teaspoon. Are flan and creme brulee the same thing? That's a really good question. They seem pretty darn similar. I, I would, I would say, I would vote mostly yes. Yeah? Because both custards with burnt sugar. Yeah. But like, uh, regional, you know what I mean? Right. All right, it wants a half a teaspoon, which is one gram. Let's see. I would vote for a yes on that. Me too. <laughs> it's still at zero. <laughs> Apparently we need a little more. How about now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're still not at one gram. <laughs> Put some sour cream on it, Dan. I don't know if you can bring that. Okay, that's been like two half teaspoons. That's, that's double what it says I should put in there and it's still not saying, it's not registering anything. Still not registering. I am not trusting this. What are you doing? Are you locked somehow? No? Look, oh sorry. I'm just gonna measure this because I have put so much in here and that's certainly not what it's calling for. It's, it doesn't want to measure one gram. Measure the two grams just fine. Did not want to measure one. All right, so is that the only step? Okay, add instant coffee and then gradually add the flour mixture. <laughs> PJ says, just keep adding shakes of this and shakes of that until the ghosts of your ancestors whisper, that's enough, my child. Uh, that's how Italians make pasta and, and how you add garlic. Uh, need a different scale? No, it usually works just fine. It just wasn't playing along on that. Did you, did you just make that up? <laughs> I love it. Or did you get that from Julia Childs? Just one child. Oh, yeah, she was an only child. <laughs> she was an only child. <laughs> Uh, reset the scale and try again. My scales sometimes struggle for those smaller numbers. I'm sure that was probably it, but it's just a half a teaspoon of the instant coffee. We're good. You said not to let you have any more of that. <laughs> you specifically put it down and said don't let me have any more of that. Or take this away. You said something like that, that you weren't allowed to have any more. Well, why do you look at the child who's in trouble? All right, well, I won't have that one then. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Dan. I need to move away from the camera because I need more room here. I have to add the things, and I'm just gonna bump your camera. There's a cat. <laughs> All right, let's see how this looks. Get away from my cable. Uh, Jody is here. Hello, Jody, and thank you so much for the sh super chat. Came by to say hi. hi. I have to study for a teaching exam. Well, good luck on your exam. Yeah, aloha. <laughs> what? <laughs> why, why aloha? I don't know. Aren't you? Are you? 
from? You're not from Hawaii, are you? No, that's uh, Christina, Chrissy. Oh, shoot. I don't remember her last name. Well, what a cripple. But she sent us amazing deliciousness. Uh, but thank you. Good luck on your studies. Well, hello there. Um, which two electric boogaloo is here? He, uh, this is Baxter. He is our little snack cat. He likes to eat food just as much as Moose does. He runs up and he will put the snack in his mouth before he even knows what it is. He's that cat. The mom and the girl, they'll both come and like sniff it and then like they're not too sure. Maybe they'll eat it, maybe they won't. He, it's in his mouth before he knows what it is every time. If you follow me on Instagram, you see every day he comes up and hops up where I'm editing and sits in front of me and just watches the dogs. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I posted the picture where he was uh, holding on, like, standing up against the monitor. Yeah, he's, the other a, night. he's a Memphis fan. What happened here? Oh, wait. Adele says, even when his face was blocked by the logo, I could see how offended, offended Dan was then. Um, so, Dan has zero self-control. I don't know if you guys know this about him. Zero self-control. And he will just eat and eat and eat, like, out of boredom. Ooh, it does sound a little tired, huh? I just think it needs an overhaul. It needs to be like, Probably. I see him take it apart. It needs to be like, re-grease. We oh, need to give it overhaul. It scares me. Um, so yeah, Dan will eat and eat meat and then be like, whoa, what did I do? So he needs other people to um, have Dan control since he has no self-control. So when Dan says, don't let me have any more of this, you have to remember not to let him have any more of this because he will continue to eat it. I'll try he... like an addict. Like, I'll try to Absolutely. justify ratios of things of like, well, can I have some blueberries? <laughs> you did the one night you asked if you could have blueberries and I gave you blueberries and then you tried to trade your blueberries for cookies. And that was not a thing. I tried to trade three blueberries for a bite of cookie, so that way I could trade that bite of cookie for a little square of the chocolate snack that you had. <laughs> no. And I was trying to, you know, I was trying to trade up. So I was trying, but I did squeeze some some berries out of the deal. But I figured that the sugar <laughs> content in the blackberries was worth one bite of cookie. So yeah, yeah it's bad. It, it happens. Uh, I see Wilton saying Walmart sells food scales for 15 bucks. Yeah, this is from Walmart. They have a whole different variety. I wanted a digital one. I wanted it to be able to zero out, and I wanted it to have different, uh, where you could weigh in pounds or grams or whatever for different things that I would be weighing with it. <coughs> but yeah, you can totally get them at Walmart. Uh, don't let Dan touch the mixer. Him and mechanical stuff do not mix, pun intended. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've seen them opened up, and it's scary. I know it's doable. People it's do so it. It's so gooey. Did you see how much grease like, is in Like, just there? a ball it's, of yeah. Like, just slop it on there. Uh, sounds like your mixer needs a fix. Sounds like my um, stand mixer that the, needs to be fixed. The, okay, yeah. there was a picture I posted that was 14 years old, and you were making stuff in your mixer. I think that's about how old this is. I think that's when I got do it. Do you think it's time to get a new mixer? Let's say if it no. is time to get a new mixer. Um, do you want an upgraded one, or is this just the mixer? I've thought about it, and whether I should get the one that... Because there's the the other one that oh, it was so cheap during Christmas that like if I needed a new one, I totally would have bought it. It was like $150 off. Um, but it's like three $400 for the one that raises the bowl up into it, and people say that's a little bit better. But no, I'm, I don't think the mixer's hold up as long and last as long as they used to. Like, people inherited their grandmas and they're working on this, like, 60-year-old KitchenAid mixer that still functions perfectly. So what perfectly. you're telling me is that we need to go find a grandma <laughs> and inherit her mixer. Yes. Just as you can send it to Mr. Mixer, don't, but, but I feel <laughs> like it's gonna be a hundred bucks to ship it to Mr. Mr. Mixer. I, I don't like to send my things out. <laughs> like, please don't take my mixer out of my house. What will I do if I need to mix things? I don't own a hand mixer. Uh huh. Like, look at you too. You were literally. <laughs> I own a hand and a. a you were literally <laughs> hand mixing right no, now. Like the, the electric hand mixer. I don't even own one of those. No, anymore. I've seen those things get near people's hair. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Um, I have confidence. Like, look, guys, I've rebuilt a carburetor. I can I can open this up and and fix it. I need to know about Mr. More about Mr. Mixer. But I have seen We've them open into it. it up. I have seen them adjust it and do all the overhaul stuff <laughs> in the house. Um, and it's doable. It's doable. There's like a big belt system in there and there's like a, but there's a I lot would, of grease in there. I would definitely want to do a bunch more research to feel more confident in what I was doing before I even thought about attempting oh, okay. it. Uh, Mr. Mixer makes the Everdyne. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't yeah, think I about that. Yeah, I knew she was talking about. I just thought it was a kooky guy that like did mixers. <laughs> no. Uh, Perfecto39 says, love my hand mixer. Wow. You're brave. You use it. Without well, a helmet? Or she a... probably doesn't lean her head over it and get her hair in it or put her tongue in it while it's on. 
Hannah's got you. I rebuilt an engine with my dad. That's it. Oh, so did I with my dad. Come down. We'll put it on jacks. Mr. Mixer has tons of YouTube videos that show you how to do it all on your own, too. Let's do it like that. Let's look at that, and let's see if maybe we can overhaul our mixer, because I have seen some of the videos, and maybe we should do it. We can get all greased up. My fear is that something's going to go wrong, and then what? And then we just get another mixer. Like, that mixer. <laughs> we just drop another $300 on a new mixer. That mixer's 14 years old. You can't be sad. It lived a good they life. They last a long time, though. Like... It's, it's not abnormal for it to have lasted this long. It's not like, oh, well, it's had a good life. No, it, it should last me, like, way longer. Oh, what's the steps next? What are you, what are you making? Or, like, what are you doing? Roll, roll in this I'm for oven? I'm making a chocolate cake. Roll in this for oven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're at the chocolate pumpkin roll part of things gotcha. without the pumpkin. Okay. I was just trying to get all lined up here. There we go. It looks, it looks a pretty good consistency. It's not too thick. I do still see there's little dry bits in here, though, so hold on. Brady says, oh, back to buffering on my TV. Your complaint's not buffering. Oh, <laughs> rude. Oh, drops the mic on Brady. That was very rude. My hands are wooden spoons. No, wait, my hands and a wooden spoon is my mixer. <laughs> That's, see, Crystal was oh. just mixing by hand. My my hands and wrists are not what they used to be, so I don't, I'll mix I don't for think you. that would be good for me. I do are you gonna a ghost mix? cabbage patch. So... I'm thinking that's mixing right there. Dan, everybody. <laughs> I don't like that one. Nobody's used that move on a dance floor since like 1997. It felt good. At best. Like, that was my exercise. So I poured it in and I'm just trying to spread it evenly to the edges. That's on parchment paper or it wax is. paper? Uh, not wax. Wax paper does not go in the oven, Dan. Okay, but wax paper cannot get hot. But it parchment will, paper does. Bad things will happen. Gotcha. I don't know what. But it probably does like roll up or something. Turns into a shrinky dink. Hannah says, what do I want to eat? I need top three options. Oh, I, I will find you your next meal. I will. <laughs> yes, but you gotta give, give, you have to give me three options. Dawn says, my 89-year-old grandma has her stand mixer from before I was born, 19, before I was born in 1975. And I'm sure it works she perfectly well. She still uses it. Yep. Can, can we, can I, can we call, can we call grandma? And we've, see? we've talked about it before. Things that were made back then, like, we had, um, your mom gave us her washer and dryer. And by the time we replaced it, it was 25 years old. And just the other day, Dan was telling me our, like, five-year-old washer and dryer is like probably it's it start it is tired it is already squeaking and stuff it, it's already making noise every time we turn it on we're like what's that yeah what's the weather like there um 46 but not it feels good. it was a nice day today when yeah, i left work there was a little bite to the air it was the the cold was a little little icy um but it rained a whole bunch yesterday and it's just sunny and back to normal again today uh, Hannah says chocolate chips, peanut brittle, or chips and dip. Okay, start with chips and dip. <laughs> chips and dip is more filling, so you'll eat less of it. Yeah, Crystal was getting out on chips and dips last night. I was. Uh, chips and dip first, Hannah. Okay, so we are putting this into the oven for 12 minutes. It's thin and flat, uh, so it doesn't take long. And I'm actually going to start with 10 minutes since my pan is a different size than what it suggests. <coughs> How many minutes is it supposed to go in for? Ten. We have a call. Well, I'm sorry. It says it nice. says twelve, but I'm gonna do ten to start with because it's a thinner pan. Sure. The mom has the blender she got as a wedding gift in 1982. Yeah, things they made back then really just hold up differently than things today. It's, they didn't use so much cheap parts. Perry. All right, so if you guys saw me make pumpkin roll, you know that when I make it, I lay a towel out and I cover the towel with powdered sugar to roll it up because you don't want the towel to stick. This recipe actually suggests using parchment paper and sprinkling cocoa powder. We're not going to do flour because that's white. We're going to use cocoa powder, so I have to get my other one out, um, so that it won't uh, discolor the cake. But I'm gonna try it on parchment paper. We'll see how it goes. 
And Dan is snacky. Yeah, it's, I don't know what's up with, oh my god, you just dropped so many crumbs on the floor and just cleaned. <laughs> it just like poured out crumbs when you took a bite. That's the tyranny part of the tyranny toast. Trinary. Oh. Like canary. Remember, it rhymes with canary? I, I like that it says canary. It's almost gone. I've been eating it for like every day. I've been eating this all day. I know, I stuck it in the cupboard and nobody ate it. I pulled it out and you instantly started eating it like that day. Yeah, I've been eating it. It's good. It's almost gone though. If you just put things in front of Dan, he will eat them. He tried to tell me that this was healthy because it was greens. False. When? when did I really? Yeah. When? When you weren't supposed to be eating any more snacks the other night. And I tried to convince you this was healthy. And you told me that it was healthy because it was greens. Uh oh, did I win? No. I tried to have a midnight tamale win. from the bed, huh? I remember that. I was like, I should eat a tamale from bed. <laughs> yeah, is that what you were thinking? I was. <laughs> oh, Doris is leaving because it's buffering too. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why it's buffering so much. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's not us, but sorry. Uh, Beer Mike says, what if you use powdered sugar? Oh, uh, what did I say I used? The, the pumpkin roll, I do use powdered sugar. Maybe Did I say flour? I don't know. I don't know what I said. I don't listen to myself. Um, pumpkin roll, when I do that, I do use powdered sugar. It soaks in. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you don't really see it much. But on a chocolate cake, you'll probably see it more. So since you got cocoa powder anyway to put in the cake, cocoa powder works. You could probably use powdered sugar if you were out of cocoa powder. But if you were out of cocoa powder, you probably wouldn't be making a chocolate cake. Uh, just says, I mean, healthy compared to question mark? Because I'm sure it's healthy in some way. Cinnamon is good for you. Um, it's, it's not healthy. Get your... Ah, hit him, hit him. This seems all stapled together. Is that why <laughs> I couldn't get to it? Yes. I, I didn't want you to have that either. You've now eaten too many other snacks to have that, and you have to wait until tomorrow to have that. Why are you ruining the pumpkin, the pecan pie, Dan? Yeah, part of it was why Terry's. Why I you gotta ruin the pecan pie? Well, I'm wait till you're allowed. Uh, spoiler, it wasn't really that good. You gave me pecan pie, and I bequeathed uh, half of it to Terry, and now she can't have it? Oh, she can oh, have her half. She weighs like 100 pounds. You eat and eat and eat and eat until you feel sick and then complain, and I don't want to hear it. If she starts complaining about how she feels because she eats a bunch of crap, then I'm going to complain to her that she's not allowed to eat stuff too because I don't want to hear you guys complain. That's really all it comes down to. Man, I wish the camera could just slowly <laughs> zoom into my face. Um, Show me what button to push. <laughs> yeah, someone, someone can do that for you. A beer office, like, says, you said flour. Yeah, I meant, I meant powdered sugar. D pretend I didn't say flour. The whole thing was powdered sugar. <laughs> uh, cocoa is good for you. Well, dark chocolate is, and cocoa is related, so the math works out. Fair enough. Won't he complain because he's hungry? Oh, he complains about that too. The problem is he doesn't eat a meal. He just snacks on a bunch of things and then goes to the candy corner and eats a bunch of candy until he feels sick. Food or no food, he's going to complain. What? Yes. You don't have as well as I do now. I'm Come on. cheery. <laughs> get, get the, the cheery white. Get the bottle, squirt the Dan. I'm going to have to. When I do the show, I'm going to get the cap squirty water bottle and put it in here and just squirt you when you come to Can close. I choose the liquid? <laughs> what, what would you like? Sugar water. Like, like I don't know. Like, I got like a two liter. Chocolate milk. Oh, Coke. No, you're, oh. not, you're not allowed to have any more two liters. But either. I quick? <laughs> no. Dance no. Dance. No. No, no, no to all of that. <laughs> PJ said battery acid. No. PJ. <laughs> PJ. That would get him to stop, huh? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Wilton's suggesting I get a lockbox for all the fattening stuff in the house and hide the key. Um. <laughs> uh. I, I have I have hidden stuff from Dan before. <laughs> it's something. Uh, Mary says no, be nice. Look, somebody has to control the Dan, otherwise he'll just ruin himself. He's he's a danger to himself, is what's going on here. Uh, Uncle Yukon says bitter apple. That might work. We've got some. Uh, what is it? The apple cider vinegar in there. Nobody likes that. I do. Well, you're wrong. I'm, wrong. <laughs> I'm a weirdo too. All right, so I'm gonna spread this. I'm, I'm gonna trust that this works. At least I should have to use less of it because I use a ton of powdered sugar when I do it on the uh, towel. And then the towel is absolutely coated in powdered sugar and I have to rinse it out in the sink and it's a big mess and nobody likes it. So we'll see how this works. And then if, if I like it, maybe I'll do it again uh, next time I make a pumpkin roll. I could have done like half as much for how it spreads on here. I think they put people
people places when they are a danger. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Scott says, two of my lab mixes just think bitter apple is extra yummy sauce for what they're chewing on. Uh, we've tried to use a uh, squirt bottle for Mooch as a deterrent. And Mooch just comes up to it and drinks right out of it. So you're trying to squirt him and he's just like, could you just put it right in my mouth, please? Doesn't work. Most of the other cats are scared of it, but not Mooch. <coughs> All right, so we're at seven minutes down. Let's see. It's looking cakey. You know you can't eat this tonight, Dan. Uh, I heard. <laughs> Aww. I was, Sorry. I was really upset. So anytime you make one of these uh, roll things, it's always better the next day. Roll it up in some foil, roll it up, wrap it in foil, put it in the fridge. Um, most things say wait four hours. That's, that's usually probably a good rule. We usually just do it overnight because I usually bake later in the evening and then the next day you can have it. So tomorrow on Dantix, we can taste test this. Where's the filling? I have not made it yet. You usually make the filling while you're waiting uh, for it to cool because you don't want to have it just sitting around. So I'll clean this out so I can make filling after I roll it up the first time. Is there extra filling? Have I made any yet? I don't know if there's extra. Will there be extra filling? I will save you a little taste, Dan. A little taste. Uh, bitter apple works on over on other counter surfing pets too. Is Dan a pet? Are you counter surfing? Pretty much. You have know, you seen Dan? You don't know what goes on between the hours of eight and five. <laughs> You're right, I don't. It's better that way for both of us. <laughs> Send Dan across the street to the taco truck while waiting. It was already out there when I came home, just so you know. They were all but you already had Chinese food for lunch. Ooh. And between money and calories, you don't need any more. Uh... <coughs> we have food at the house, Dan. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just cutting you off. Uh, all right, we got a minute and a half left on this. Let's see where we're at. I just want to check it because my pan's not the same size as what the recipe says to use, so I don't know if it's gonna cook faster. <laughs> Uh, Cecilia, I don't know if you're behind and watching when Dan came over here and was doing his bad dance, uh, but she says don't dance, you'll break every window and machine in the house. Oh, yeah, that's unnecessarily false. Afriel says you look more like a pet when you have your spirit robe on. He's, he's very, uh, very furry. You're right. Sometimes he comes up and hugs me and there's the, the whole thing itself is really soft and great, but it's, what is it, the fur like around the edge or something? It's like wispier? And so, like, when you hug me, it's, like, wispy and all tickly and weird. It's not, like, soft and, and snuggly like the rest of it is. No, no comment? Oh, yeah. All the, all <laughs> all the above. Thanks. I'm just standing here waiting for my cake. <laughs> I ran out of things to say. How's everybody doing? Uh, Brittany with the super chat. Uh, for Dan to go get taco truck snack. Thank you, Brittany. Dan doesn't need taco truck. Dan wants taco truck. Oh, Dan's sad. <laughs> uh, what else is going on here? Okay, let's check this. So that was 10 minutes. It says 12. Oh, it is not done. We're going two more minutes. Will it make two rolls? No, just one roll. That big thing is just for one. It's one roll, yes. Are we only making one? <laughs> Do you need two? No, but usually when you make a roll, you make two rolls. Uh, when I make pumpkin roll, I make two because it only uses, I want to say it's a half a cup of the pumpkin mix. And so I have enough pumpkin. I'm not going to use pumpkin on anything else. This time I had uh, I had gotten a big can of pumpkin and I made two, three pumpkin rolls out of it. And then I ended up throwing away the rest of the pumpkin because it went bad. It got moldy in there. Yep. It was sad. Yeah, the pumpkin was moldy. <laughs> Uh, Afriel suggesting a round of honey lemon tea for the coughing. I, I can't shake it. And it's like, it's like I'm congested and it's all like this. I have not been able to shake that, that last little bit of cough since the last time I got sick. 
A uh, beer or a mug with a super chat. Here's five more. Get some rice and beans. <laughs> you guys are all a bad influence. Brittany would like uh, the camera down to see Mooch. If the camera goes down, I think it's going to cut my head off, but we can... Uh... Yeah, I'll get you that Oh, well, Cyber Husky says, I think we're going to attempt a live stream for Drizzle's 13th birthday next weekend. Awesome. Make when sure are you planning on doing it? Which day and, and time? You, you said, I think we're going to, so I'm sure you don't have that settled. But uh, make sure you post in the group and let, let everybody know so they can come check that out. Uh, F. Vance says, can you get me taco truck tacos? Just email them to me. Oh, are you in a place that does not have taco trucks on the corner? I'm sorry. They're on every corner out here. Uh, there's actually one like right outside the auto zone they set up out there. They're just everywhere out here. If, if we go to, like, say, the grocery store, we'll pass no fewer than three on the way. Every time. The raccoon on our porch again. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the raccoon's back. Uh-oh. He's snarking. The raccoons have been hanging around lately. Today there was, um, because it rained yesterday, there was muddy raccoon prints all over the back stairs. And it was uh, trash day. It's this one. It's just this one raccoon. He's been around lately. Just the one that the babies aren't there? No. You can see the mom's like... The mom's like hanging out over there by that yellow, by the yellow thing. I'm not sure I'm safe. confident in this yet. We're gonna go another minute and see how that goes. Is it that's right now? Yeah. Should I go try to hug it? No. Don't rip your face off, Dad. <laughs> it looks so cute though. Hannah says taco trucks aren't a thing here. I'm sorry. Shannon says, make pumpkin chocolate chip cookies next time. We have a crazy good recipe for them. Shannon, I don't like pumpkin. I've tried a handful of different pumpkin recipes. Pumpkin roll is the only thing that I like. I don't mind it, just not often. Yeah, like, we've done pumpkin. I haven't made pumpkin cookies, to, to be fair. Um, but I've done, like, muffins and breads and things. Not a fan of pumpkin. Uh, Cyber Hussey says, Sunday, January 15th, either 1 p.m. or 3 p.m. Eastern. Okay, as soon as you figure it out, make sure you make a post in the um, RFS family group so everybody can check that out. Hey, can you fax me a gordita? Are gorditas still a thing? I don't know, but they're good. Um, I don't know. Chil maybe chalupas are. I don't know if gorditas are. I don't know. Whatever one that you talk about, the Enchirito, they were back for a while. My mom had one. She said it was not that good. Jess had one, and I think she said it was good. No, my mom was disappointed. Uh, I didn't go back. I'm still mad at Taco I'm still mad at Taco Bell. The only thing that'll get me to come out of retirement is when the Cholito comes back. Not a chili cheese burrito when they renamed it later, but unless the actual Cholito comes back, then I'm, I think I'm retired from Taco Bell. Yeah? Yep, I'm mad at Taco Bell. Crunch wraps are my, pretty much my go-to at Taco Bell, and I can make those at home, so I'm good. Yeah, it's been two years since I've been to Taco Bell. Oh, uh, Wilton says, the only time I've ever seen a taco truck was way down in Flint at a concert outside a small venue called The Machine Shop. Oh, man, when you leave, like, shows or events out here, there's always all kinds of, like, taco and hot dog and yeah, things they're, outside. They're so, they're so good. Afriel says, where I am has a new ordinance that taco trucks need bathrooms and running water. Then it's not a taco truck, it's a building. That's your, a dumb ordinance. And your town sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Who came up with that ordinance? We're not mad at you. We're mad at your town. We stand out in a dirt field. Yeah, like, you, you don't go there to eat. To be fair, they do set up tables. Do they still have the tables out there? Since no, they upgraded. They bought a, they, they have a, the, the car now, or like the, the taco truck. That they were out right. there when they used to have to set up on a, they would but, set up TV trays. But they had the, they had the tables to sit at and eat. When before, when they first started, when they were out there on their own tables, serving up food, they also had tables to sit and eat. They don't have the tables anymore? As soon anymore? as they got the taco truck. They're just like, take your stuff and go? Yeah. Go home? It's not that way no more. Yeah, so it ain't been that way in a minute. Mice would run around on the ground there. <laughs> That's terrible. Not now, but like when they would, when you'd eat out there, it was crazy. But that's SoCal for you. Let's, let's toothpick it and see how we are. It, it's, it's weird on the top. Jess says, I mean, most food trucks have must have running water. How else do people wash their hands? Running water is one thing, but a bathroom? Yeah, because, like, inside their food truck, it's, it's like, their food truck's, like, all-encompassing. Like, there's a sink in the, you know, yeah. like inside of a food truck, so there it is. But is there a bathroom? Do food no. trucks have bathrooms? No, like an RV where it has a little, like, that one. toilet? No, not that one. No. What, what do they do if they have to pee? Do you go out in the field right there and pee? That feels dark out there. Fair enough. Yeah, food is good. Don't ask questions. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I like that. It's good stuff. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what did I 
miss everything. It, it was so cool. You missed it all. It's We're, over. Bye. What stage are we at now? Uh, I've just taken the chocolate cake that's going to be rolled out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool for a minute before I flip it out onto here and roll it up. Um, and then I will make the filling. Great. But I think I need to cut this more straight at the end. Am I? I've never done it with parchment paper. I always just do it with a towel. So. Oh, for, for to roll it up? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to trim one side of it so it's more straight at the end. I don't know how straight this actually is, but we're doing it. So Jess is going to be in Florida the 16th and s <clears throat> uh, 21st. Oh, shoot. I even made the thing. <laughs> Jess is going to be in Florida in a few... The 17th, she leaves for Florida. Uh, Tristan, are you are you close to where Jess is going? Are you going to see Jess at all? <laughs> You're the only person that really I know in Florida. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Danielle says, why does that have brown on it? It's cocoa powder because I'm going to flip the, the chocolate cake onto it and then roll it up. We're making a chocolate Swiss roll, so I'll roll it. That's going to prevent the paper from sticking to it. We've okay. had it stick to the towels before, huh? Um, a little bit. Describe yeah. How, yeah, you try to unroll it back out and stuff, and then and then. Um, like, it, I've never had super fail, but it's it's been uh, less less good than it should be. Can you get this into the trash for me, please? And thank you. Uh, Walton wants to know if you're going with her, like you do for Novi. No, not not on this trip. No, I did though. Look up to see the flight there. It's like seven and a half hour flight, so they would feed me on the airplane, I think, or maybe I don't know. These days, it's weird. But no, I'm, I'm not going uh, for this trip, no. Okay, so we're gonna get this out of here and roll it up, watch your fingers. You have to roll this while it's warm. If you let this cool completely, it's just going to crack. So you have to do it while it's still warm. Normally you'd let a cake cool a little bit more before you do anything with it, not with this. Tristan says, I live in Tampa. I'm trying to trade shifts to go at least one day. Really wanna meet Jess and the dogs. If you can, you should, it's a lot of fun. Oh, so yay. I just ran a knife along the outside of it just to free it. I did put parchment paper on the bottom. It's probably going to floof cocoa powder. This well, then I have a cocoa powder cam right here. Okay. You did okay. I'm trying to line it up to the end as close as I can, but I do need a little bit to roll. Perfect. Are you guys going to be streaming for like three hours today? No, no, no. We're already almost done with this recipe. We usually just do a two-hour stream. Yeah, and we'll play with the cats. Like we'll we'll probably get the cats awake and give them some snacks right quick. So this is and be good. um much thinner than when I do pumpkin roll. It is much thinner. Uh, it's also a little crispy at the ends. Hopefully, when we put the filling in, it will soften that up a little bit. That peeled off nicely, though. This since I've been doing this with the pumpkin roll, it's a game changer. It makes everything so much easier. Otherwise, you're trying to, even if you grease and flour your pan, you're just trying to get it to unstick, and it doesn't really work, and it's just a pain. Uh, I am going to put a little bit more cocoa powder on the top of this. That was nice and warm. That little paper. Yeah. That felt good. It smells good. It smells good. very chocolatey. Warm chocolate cake smells amazing always. Oh look, Crystal, it's left shark. Oh, hey, hody, 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 hody. <laughs> hey, bite me. <laughs> Alright. That should be. And this good. makes it this makes the this is the inside, right? This will end up being the inside. So we're gonna roll it up. Again, if you guys got the pumpkin roll recipe and you didn't hear me say it earlier, I forgot to put on the recipe that you have to roll it while it's warm and then you unroll it and put the, the filling in it. Um so this is the part where we do that. We're gonna roll this up. It is still warm. It's so thin though. Why are we rolling it up? There's no insides. You have to roll it while it's warm to keep this shape. I should've got a little longer on my parchment paper, but that should be good. So it's, it's starting to cool while it's in the rolled up shape, so it will keep that shape. Is this the step you forgot on yeah, that's that's what I just explained. No, just yeah, explained. yeah. Which I, it would probably still work as long as it was still warm, 
when you like put the frosting in, but you have to let it cool a little bit before you put the frosting or the filling, whatever you want to call it, because otherwise the filling will just be gooey and melty. So it's it's a fine line there. Um, I see a super chat yes. here from Diana. Thank you so much, Diana. She says, hi everyone, it's my daughter Ashy Doherty's 30th oh, birthday yes. today. Oh, I know who she is. Yeah. I know her. She watches my show. That's your daughter? Tell her I said hi. <laughs> she enjoys watching your show. Can you wish her a happy birthday? Yes. Happy birthday, Ashy. Thank you so much yeah, for being part birthday. of the RFS fam. Um, we got your I'm card. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we did get her card. Uh, what, that was in the match you got Monday, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, also We'll it's... be getting a card coming soon, but um, Diana, can you make sure to tell her to roll the, the pumpkin roll after she flips it out onto the powdered sugar covered towel? Because I forgot to put that on the recipe. Yes. So I think, Ashy, for your birthday, you should uh, you should make more videos. You have that new GoPro, and I think you should keep making YouTube videos. And happy birthday. Uh, yeah, because, happy birthday. yeah, because you haven't made one in a long time. Is she watching tonight? I or are you just, so. Or is she birthday. out celebrating her birthday, and you just want her to see us wishing her a happy birthday on the rewatch? <laughs> Did you get my card? Did you get my card? Did you get my card? Uh, okay. Yes, Hannah well. and Martha, yours were, Hannah's came Monday. In Monday's batch. Martha, yours came in today's batch. And so did Ashy's, right? A Ash uh, I think hers was Ashes Monday's. Was it? Yes, but we did. It's we all did. a blur. But happy birthday. That was my... I'm dabbing over here, but you can't see it off the camera. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> yes, Brittany, I remind everybody this helps it keep the shape um, without it breaking. If you just leave it flat and then put the filling in, it's cooled and it's not used to being wrapped up. So you're more likely to have some cracking. So you're kind of like telling it like, hey, we're gonna do this in a minute when I fill things up. So so here's here's the, the hint of what you need to do. And then you unroll it, put the filling in and roll it back up. Ah, Alexis, where's my favorite person to talk about? Dan, I kicked him out. He got too annoying. I told him he had to leave. Hey, oh, oh, oh. He's, I'm here like the moon. He's back. We got your card today. Today yes. we got your card. Yes. Uh, her you. card was quite amusing. Uh, yes, it did. It made me laugh out loud. That was good. Uh, Scott says, if you sent my card, I haven't gotten it yet. If you haven't sent my card, I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> uh, look, it's all a blur. The last like month, all of December, I don't know if this happens to everybody or just us because we're doing like shows Scott and things. Because we got your uh, card and we liked it and we liked your dogs. And, I don't remember. I, I sent out two batches, but I don't remember if his was in I believe the, that was batch one of those two. batches. Look, mail's taking forever. No joke. Um, I know we sent something to somebody and then we asked them if they had gotten it yet and they said no. And then like 10 minutes later, they're like, no, no, it just came. And it was like over two weeks since we had sent it. Unless Holidays. You're, uh, Post office kind of sucks. Unless you're Amazon. I ordered this at like 10 this morning. And it's already here. And it's already, it's already here today. Yeah, our uh, our amazing water fountain has, has started to leak. So we, we had to get a new one, lest we have damage to our floor. Okay, we need to make our filling before this uh, cools too much. We're going to put our chocolate and our cream in a heat-proof bowl and place... Oh, oh, oh. oh. I don't double... Boiler. That's that's not a thing I'm comfortable doing. So we're gonna microwave our chocolate. <laughs> Let's see how much. Half a cup, 120 grams of whipping cream. I don't know. We can probably do that in this. Yeah, I don't know if, if people were just extra shippy this year and things are taking a really long time, but yeah, things are things are taking quite a while to arrive. So be patient if you guys haven't gotten your stuff. Like I said, the prizes from uh, the Christmas show have not shipped out yet. Sorry guys, there's been a lot going on. We just haven't had, look, I made out all the envelopes with the addresses and I put the things in them, but then like, I wanna get a postcard in there for you guys and like write a handwritten message. So I haven't had time to do that. That's why they haven't gone out. If you just want your prize and you don't care about handwritten messages, I could have sent them out, but why don't you double broil? I, I just don't. That's really all there is to it. I don't know which bowl I have that would work well for that. Yeah, I have some Pyrex, but I don't know. Uh, Amanda says, warm the cream up, then put that over the chocolate to melt it. That would probably work. I can do that. Uh, what was I doing? Whipping cream. I can probably just warm the cream on the stove rather than microwaving it and then add the chocolate to that. I'm not afraid to do it that way. Um, the double bo boiler, I always wanna say broiler. Um, 
helps to keep the chocolate from getting too hot and seizing. I just, I don't do it. It's not a thing I do. Oh, Alan says I might be taking cooking classes at Turnstone. I don't know what Turnstone is, but yes, take a cooking class. Why not? It's a good skill to have, even if you only learn a couple things here and there. Um, or if you know nothing and learn everything. Either way, it's really good. All right, so it wants, oh, I guess I don't even need to measure it. It wants 200, no, this is the 120 grams. So we're gonna make whipped cream with 240 grams of this and we're gonna make a chocolate sauce basically with 120 grams, a cup and a half a cup. Um, and then we're gonna mix it together. What you doing? This what? is not for you. Watch, watching you. Um. I made that mistake where I drank the whipping cream thinking it was whipped cream. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's like not. the chocolate. Like, it's, so it, it's unwhipped cream. No, it's not the same. Can't. I was counting and then I was looking at your recipe and there's like one. Yeah, like, I measured those out and you screwed one me like up. So no, no, I measured them. There's one like gilogram more. Dan, I literally weighed them and now you've screwed up my recipe and I have to reweigh them. Then when you're reweighing them, will you weigh extra so this in case this happens? No, you again. told me not to let you have any more. You literally told me to take it away. Do you remember that? I do. Me too. Okay, so that's that's for the melting part. And then 240 grams is gonna be for the whipped cream. RFS Dan, I love your <laughs> ally shirt. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh no, that's me. Well, hey, don't mind me building a Lego, a Mario Lego starter set. Amanda, it's fun. does oh, it fun. does it come with the actual guys? Cause that's the like you have to get the starter set to get the guys that do everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was fun. Um, since you're cooking on Friday and with this stuff, does that mean like stuff's gonna go on our pancakes tomorrow that takes this? Maybe. So I have this. Too. I do have cream cheese because I had to send Dan to the store to get three packages well, of it. Because we do have this. We do, and and Saturdays are for pancakes. I think this Saturday we should do that with this stuff. Oh wait, here I'll move the camera so we can see. You don't like to move my camera. Whoa, splash! I know. Can you get your camera out of my way? It's really inconvenient. Thanks, Dan. All right, so that's gonna be made into whipped cream, and now there's whipping cream all over my arm. <laughs> Just, uh, Brittany says I need stunt ingredients like Jess does for the pups. What's that mean? Uh, like, she'll have everything, like, measured out because it's on your marks, get, set, go. Right. And then there'll be, like, maybe a little bowl with a couple of other things in there because those, you know, for stealing. Are, for stealing. <laughs> for stealing. Uh, okay, so all we're doing to this is whipping it. And then in the pan, I'm going to warm up my, uh, my cream. I hear Bruce snoring. My Kamiko. I have to reweigh my chocolate chips since Dan's hand's been in it. Dan. You ate a whole gram. It was one. Wait. Let's see. I think I got away twice. I got away twice with like one chip. So I wonder if two chips. Let's see if two chips makes the ground. Oh, it's, it's bouncing between 48 and 49. Yeah. Oh, just one. Just one. Just That's one. all you get. Okay. Uh, Amanda this. says she got a Princess Peach figure for Christmas, so she added Mario today. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. I don't have any Mario sets. I do have, I was talking yesterday when I was straightening up, I came across uh, Dan's big giant car Lego set. Are you nibbling it to um, make it last longer? Yeah. Um, I would, would like to, to share finish with me? The, the car Lego set. No, no thank yeah, you. Yeah, you want to do that? We can work on that. Oh, yeah, in my free time. <laughs> After I make out everybody's uh, Christmas cards that they're Maybe waiting on. March, I think she might get some time. <laughs> I can't March, even steal March. one because this Maybe scale's a snitch. Also, it's hitting 150 slash 151, so you should probably take one more out. No. Look, it's at 150 right now. Leave it. It's at 151 before you, when you stop looking. 
Uh, enjoy your uh, red lobster. Can Dan trade three chocolate chips for half of a cookie? Yes. <laughs> no. I I I managed to squeeze something out one day. I was doing good conversion upgrades. <laughs> I was trying to change my like late night berries. I was trying to change the blueberries for um, crunch berries. <laughs> I was like, can I trade three blueberries for like one crunch berry? That's, they're not really berries. You know that, right? I know it's in the name and all. <laughs> it's not. It's not really a berry. That's a nice food scale. Thanks, I got it at Walmart. Actually, I made Dan get it at Walmart. Dan out here trying to get a paper clip. Oh, that was my friend Evan who produced that. <laughs> I actually talked to him yesterday. He waited a lot of years to tell me, like, oh, I, or he waited at least a year before he was like, I produced the one paper clip guy thing. I was like, wow. Did not know that. I'm with you on the conversion rate, though, Tristan. I think the three to one is pretty good. And Fant says, Crystal complaining about a camera on her own cooking show? It's not a show without the cameras. I know, but they're always in the way. I like the one over there. It's on the other side of the counter. It's this one that allows you guys to see what's actually happening that's always in my way. Always. There's Mr. Yes, you can see the edge of his ear. He's, uh... He's snoozing right here. <laughs> Does anybody ever whip anything or see anything being whipped without singing the Devo song? Because I see, uh, it is over here. I see Hannah whipping it, whipping it real good. You can't not. Mount the camera on the shelf on the wall. Use a longer lens or zoom it in. Oh, what wall though? Like there's no, there's no wall there. Oh, are you opening cream cheese? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, no cream cheese, which is odd in this recipe, but no cream cheese. No, it's, it's more like a whipped cream. But I, I don't think there's anything that's going to wake up Mooch. Um, I have actually had the camera suspended above the counter, and I did not like it. Yeah, you would flip it up here for the thing, too, on the top of the stove. Oh, the, cameras are, uh, the cameras are good right here. I want it to be up close and personal. I want you to be able to see it on your oversized television. Is that whipping yet, Dan? Is it past tense whip? Yeah. It's doing well. I'd give it a little bit still. Oh, Dan, you have to read that. See if you can read that username. <laughs> nope. Oh, it only cuts, it only, it only, uh, does half of it. Welcome to the RFS fam, Jesse underscore Evil Ash underscore Like it underscore Wolfcap underscore, and then it cuts it off. Thank you so much for being a part of the RFS, uh, fam community. Uh, I hope you enjoyed those emojis. If you're a member, put some emojis in the chat. And you now have access to, uh, not a podcast. Yes. Our audio recording that... Which... It's sort of like a podcast, but Dan refuses to call it that. Right. It's a podcast. But thank you so much. Uh, enjoy. Also, um, at one point, Cyber has, he asked me about membership levels versus stuff they could and couldn't see, and I got an email from YouTube saying that they had membership level issues for a while. Look, they were putting all the, all the stuff in there. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. The, the Blake head's probably my favorite. Yeah, just like, ah! It's just his actual head. I know, uh, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Thank all you, right, so thank look, you so much. I just warmed up the cream a little bit until it was like, rolling or like softly starting to boil um and then threw the chocolate chips in and stirred it up and and it's 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 melty it's, it's fine i made chocolate gravy <laughs> yes it's just fine actually that probably is the best way it works so this is gonna cool while the whipping cream is whipping excuse me we need more whipping please not whipping very well 
sounds whipped and fluffy. Well, you did perfect, I still think, Samantha. Oh, we're gonna mix the two together. And then we're gonna unroll this. We're gonna roll that on there. This is already pretty cool. I feel like the towel holds in more uh, moisture and heat than the parchment paper does. Oh, good, okay. So it's able to, like, get rid of it quicker. No, 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 I think that's a bad thing. Oh. Like, the towel keeps it warmer longer, and it holds in moisture. Like, when I unroll it, it's kind of moist. And this is, like, ready, so, ready to go? Yeah, this is this is already nice and cool. So. And that way also makes it shiny. It is pretty shiny. I don't know. It worked. Much simpler than getting another bowl and putting it on top. I just, I don't like to do that. It's, it's too much work. That's why I don't double boil. Uh, that's how you start things like mirror glaze, right? You clearly know much more about baking than I do. <laughs> I don't know. This I don't mirror struggling. glaze. It's It's alright. The, the ears of the poor people at home. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan says, Turnstone is in Fort Wayne. They have different things there, like cooking class inside, heated swimming pool, gym track, exercise room. Okay, so like a, a YMCA type thing, or like um, our city of Lancaster does right. that. We do the Japanese class with the city once. And ended up just making friends with the teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, Emily says, Happy early birthday to me. Well, happy early happy birthday early to you. Happy birthday. Happy unbirthday to you. <laughs> yeah, it's your unbirthday. It's my own birthday, too. We just watched those movies again the other day. We did. We watched Alice in Wonderland and uh, Through the Looking Glass. Not as good as the first one, but the first one, I really love the, the Alice in Wonderland live action with Johnny Depp and all it, the other people that are it, in it. It's really well done. Yeah. And, and a really good twist on the story without making it, like, without being a remake or a reboot or whatever, like, it's just a little, like, they interpret it a little differently, and I really like that. All right, let's see how stiff our peaks are, Dan. Oh, hey, Dan, how wow, stiff are they? Wow, beautiful. That's... I think we can go a little more. They're kind of weak. You have to do the whip it dance. Oh no, wait a minute. When I turn this back on, I'm gonna let you do the whip it dance. Wait, am I nae nae in or whipping? <laughs> oh shoot, I got my whips confused with my nae nae's and now there's a tangle. <laughs> I should've worn my watch me whip, watch me bake bake shirt. I think there's a video of you whipping a nae nae somewhere. Um, that song was played at Sandy and Jason's wedding. And she busted out like she knew. I, all I know is you're like riding a horse. Well, keep it going. That's that's all I know. I don't know. I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> all right. I think my peaks are stiff now. They're no longer peaks. I made whipped cream. This is this is whipped. I whipped it real good, guys. Mm. So now, wait, where is that? Going? Now we're gonna mix this with the chocolate. Sorry for your ears. Oh, I know. I can feel it. <laughs> Let me see what this actually says. Okay, I guess I don't really need a bowl. I can just mix it in there and keep that clean. So we're basically just making chocolate whipped cream. I think maybe I should whip it more because it's flattening. Did you go get the pot? Dan. He did, but he brought it. Well, that was nice of him. 
but he just brought it to you so he could use that as an excuse. I brought it over to Terry, she put her finger in it to take a lick, and then she grabbed the pot and turned it towards her. <laughs> There's good. And now she's got one hand on the heart of the pot. <laughs> to mix it in but it didn't specify to put it in the mixer and I was worried about it getting flat and it did so it does have to go back in the mixer and get whipped. Have you ever clocked a camera with a pan when Dan puts it closer? Oh yeah I bump the camera all the time. <laughs> all the time. Oh you can see me in the reflection. Good thing you have your clothes on. Uh, I see Athena asking about um, she's having trouble with her payment method on Google Play. Oh, sorry. And the the emojis and stuff. I don't know. But I'm glad you're here. I hope you're doing well. But I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry why uh, it doesn't work. Oh, did I overmix but, it? But at least you're here hanging out, so that's important. Did I overmix it? Because uh -oh. now it's not very whipped. It doesn't. It looks like it's going back to ingredients again. Can you make it again? Help. No, it's too late. Can you make it again? Or does that thing say no? No. No, I have to just stick it in how, there. How do I know? I think this is what happened last time I made the, the whipped cream stuff, too. I just, I think I broke it. I think you need to add more Nene to it. No, I think I... It's broken. Can you just start again real quick? No, because I don't think I have enough whipped cream. I mean, it's, it's just not... Oh, it's, it's it's not the tape. It's just not. It's, it's all right. We're putting it. It's in not making peaks, right? But if it does, if it's not thick enough, it's gonna ooze out, and it's really liquidy now. All right, like that's just gonna ooze right out. Uh, what type of mixer is this? It's a KitchenAid mixer. I mean, all I can do is like try to whip it more because I can't unwhip it. But is that a thing that happens? Like if you overmix it, then it isn't whipped cream anymore? Yeah, it'll separate. It'll start like buttering. That's what I did. I, I looked away for too long. Uh, also, maybe if the chocolate was too warm, that might have done uh, something. Brittany, thank you. Uh, with the mixer running at low speed, slowly drizzle cold, unwhipped, heavy cream into the mixing bowl. Keep adding cream until the broken whipped cream regains its fluffy texture. That's all we can do. Let's do it. Good job, Brittany. Um, thanks for putting away the whipped cream, Dan that was sitting on the counter in front of the microwave. If you add a few pinches of granulated sugar, it will firm up. Willing to try that as well. Did you give me to put it away? Yeah, I asked you to put it back in the fridge. Oh, and I stuck it over there. And you just set it on the counter. <laughs> so we'll start with, with some sugar. Chocolate butter. I'm not opposed to chocolate butter. No. I swear I'll go buy croissants. Look, it already is what it is and it's not what I need it to be, so I either fix it or I throw it away, so I might as well try. I don't know. You can use cornstarch to help thicken and stabilize it too. That seems odd. This is a sad mess. And chocolate butter sounds good to me, right? I'm not opposed to chocolate butter. It, it's not getting any better.
I mean, I trust that, that Brittany Googled that. Here's the thing. I'm afraid to use too much of this because I feel like it's about halfway gone. So then I could probably make one more batch. Sorry, this is the part where I shut down and go into my head and try to figure out what to do to save this. But in the meantime, this is cooling and it's going to crack when I take it apart. I don't know what the right answer is. Do I need to run in the market? No. I think this is what happened with the last batch of that, that uh, whipped cream that I made that didn't set right. I think I did the same thing. Cause I just like walked away and started doing something. Uh, Cause it's halfway gone and it's on its way and it's feeling, feeling, feeling. Are you, do are you doing song lyrics? <laughs> this might work as a good filling for those air fryer pastries. It's really liquidy. Like it's, it's not gonna fill anything at all. It's just gonna, uh, what if you stuck it in the refrigerator for a bit to cool it? I don't think that's gonna help. It's, it's lost its like whippedness. It's back to liquid. All right, what did you guys do with my pot? Never mind, I see it. I was hoping to start out the year without a cooking catastrophe, but here we are. I blame, I blame squads in the very much just like pressure because the weather is the way you want me. I always blame the barometric pressure. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, the cho the chocolate mixture might have been a little too hot, uh, so I'm gonna make that first. I'm not gonna do the microwave. I think that the technique I used worked just fine, um, because I didn't really heat it for that long, and it it melted together very well. But I think I am gonna let it cool for a minute. Oh, I didn't take some what if up. we What if we try also a slow drizzle into the whipped cream as it's moving along? Yeah. At the same. Is that, would that yeah, because yeah, I just poured it all in and, and tried to mix it. Because it wasn't specific. It didn't say, like, yeah. put it into the mixer. It just said mix them together. Yeah. I'm glad this brain here is a smart one. Huh. Don't throw that mix away. I'm not gonna. No, we'll leave that on something I promise. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm mad at it. But you're welcome to do whatever you want with it. It, it poured out like really wet sand. If, if it's sandy, it's definitely broken. Gross. Let's all just hope that this is the only fail I'm gonna have this year. The chocolate was probably too hot and melted the cream. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna make the chocolate first. Um, not sure what's going to happen with my cake because it's wrapped in parchment paper. It's cooled way more than it should have already. Do you want me to warm a towel and put it around it? It is what it is. It's already cool. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's any saving it even if it's warm. Okay. I need to get a little bit of this out of here because it's a little too much. Turn it into buttercream frosting by adding powdered sugar and cocoa powder. It's got a bunch of chocolate in it. I might not even need to add cocoa powder. Damn it. <sighs> My scale shut off. Okay, 120 grams. That's going into the pot. And 150 grams of chocolate chips. What did you do with the other stuff? What other stuff? The old slot. It's in a hole over there, making me angry. Making I couldn't bear angry? to look at it anymore, Dan. Okay, 
and then <laughs> crystal isn't the failure the chocolate failed crystal um i honestly think the recipe should have been more specific about letting it cool because I, I think that was the problem honestly so, we'll see let's start this going and then we'll get this up to 240 grams i keep eating it see because it solidifies you know the bits are solidifying it that's how you need butter Oh, well, good. I almost made butter. I did. That's, um, the flavor is going to be beautiful in that cake. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. At least something's going to be beautiful here because it's not that. <laughs> so, again, I'm just going to heat up uh, the, I think it was 120 grams of whipping cream until it's just a little bit warm enough to melt the chocolate chips. That, and that's, I was trying not to get it hot. I was just trying to warm it up. A cold bowl really helps for making whipped cream. It should take three to four minutes on medium speed for the whipped cream to reach soft peaks. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, we'll stick this in the fridge. I like that. Because that's the only place I have room. Should you be eating that? Look, you're an adult and you can do what you want, but you told me like almost two hours ago to take the chocolate away from you. Good point. Uh, Patty, I did try to fold the chocolate into the, the whipped cream, but it just immediately, I think it was too hot because it immediately flattened. So I'm going to make this and then let it cool before I mix things together. It was right there if you just turned out of the wall. It was actually right Stop it! Oh my god, really? So good. I'm done. Eat whatever you want. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear a word of complaining later. Mm. Not one word. Dad, are you drinking it over the bowl right now? Well, I gave myself a milk mustache and I don't even drink milk. It's a cream mustache. Dan's lack of care is hilarious. Uh, says people who don't have to listen to him complain later. That's so good. Hey, Dan. Hmm. What's that? What's that snack? Butterscotch. Are you dipping the butterscotch in the slop? Yep. Dan, you should not add snacks to snacks, but do whatever you want. I'm done with you. No, that was heavy in my stomach. No, you think? <laughs> it is a heavy whipping cream. That's also definitely a one bite treat. Pepto smoothie for Dan later. <laughs> yes. Oh, what's wrong, Dan? Does your stomach hurt? I feel like two pounds heavier. Mm. No, I, right. Gravity's. Gravity's. That wasn't me popping. That was. <laughs> are was you popping. sure? <laughs> uh, where are heavy. the other cats? Uh, wherever cats go, I don't. Topo's I don't know. Here. Topo's right here sleeping. Uh, Mooch is right here sleeping. The boy or the girls? Who's out on the couch right there in front of you? Probably the girl. She likes to lay on the couch. Stretched out. They're getting longer now, so stretched they out on half the couch so I couldn't Mama sit down. Mama uh, Mama is going to put AJ to bed. Tell AJ that Miss Crystal said good night. Oh yeah, bye, dude. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep stirring this to try to get it to cool. <gasps> Ooh, I have and snack like, burps. Get some air into it. Mm. Yeah. It's a good Friday. Uh, Brittany, reminding you of your lactose intolerance. <laughs> mm mm. Oh. Oh, snack burps you the best. How did you even make it this far in life? <laughs> you just like have no regard for your own personal wellness. Line up the taco truck? Oh, yeah, because that's what you need a taco. It's really not that warm. Uh, AJ, say goodnight back. <laughs> Yay. Mm, I'll turn on the other camera. So. Okay, where did my. Wrong side. Where's my mixing bowl? 
Oh yeah, I put it in the fridge. Thanks. Sorry, I was swallowing. It's cold. I don't remember. I didn't remember you say that. Why did you put it in the fridge just to try to? Uh, Shannon suggested that a cold bowl would help. And at this point, I'm willing oh, to try anything. Yeah, okay. I've used just about every rubber spatula in this house. <laughs> Adele, you might be onto something. He just winged it and managed to succeed somehow. Yeah. That's that's how he gets through life. Uh, Dan is very fond of saying, it'll all work out. Which is frustrating to people who like to plan everything. The other hand, Crystal? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Control. Foodies generally tend to like want to try quality food and like travel the world and eat things from different places. Dan just wants to put food in his mouth. <laughs> Doesn't care about the quality. What's your favorite movie? You should watch Alan Fairchild. You should watch Video Game High School on YouTube. It's free. That's a TV show. How are you so thin? Black shirts? <laughs> Black shirts for the win. I've been sucking it in for 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> I need nuggets. No, you're, uh, what's today? You're six days in. Only a few more days and you'll never want a nugget again. Oh yeah? Is that how that works? I think so. Is she trying to quit the, the McKinney's with you? Uh, I don't believe you're actually done with McDonald's. I Make, McDonald's made me unhappy by no longer can I get two cheeseburgers for $3.99 with the, you know, the blue coupon and then get a deal. They don't stack anymore. So I can't even get two cheeseburgers for four bucks plus a dollar large fries. Our dollar, our large fries are five dollars and nineteen cents. Oh, so right, and it's and it's all and it's like most of the time when I would get the dollar fries, it's sixty percent bad and forty percent good. So it's a lot. So I'm like mad at McDonald's, although I do have like 20 million points. So I think I need to spend some of my points and then I'm done. Would Terry and I got cheeseburgers the other day and it looked like somebody ran them over before they got to oh, us. Oh, I thought you told me you just drove by. Are your what? large fries really 3 dollars I sent you that screenshot, Jess. Are there like $5? Crazy. Adele says, I just oh. ate a chocolate chip cookie. Did I need it? No. Do I care? Absolutely not. As long as you don't complain about it later. That's all I'm saying. Eat what you want and it makes you happy. Uh -huh. But don't eat stuff and then complain about how it makes you feel or how fat you feel or any of that. That's what drives me nuts. I have. Oh my god. Damn. A Fox and Cola just had an apple pie filled egg roll. That sounds amazing. We haven't done egg rolls in a while. Apple pie filled or otherwise. The egg rolls are good. I forgot about those. We should do those soon. I actually bought some uh, frozen ones while you were in Michigan and Terry and I had those. McDonald's made me mad by getting rid of grilled chicken and salads. Oh man, back in the day, I think like right around the time you and I got together, Dan, maybe just a little bit before that, they had the big, amazing salads, and that's when uh, my brother worked there. Uh, maybe yours were horrible, Jess, but out here, they were amazing, and my brother would get them and bring them to me. I worked nights at the gas station, and he would bring me the big, giant salad bowls. Oh, they were so good. I would try and mix salad, but I never got one when I was a kid or a young adult. I'm like, I'm a kid. I need, I need burgers. But I would try and mix salad. They were good. They don't have them anymore. Uh, Brittany has 21,118 points, Dan. Is that, what was yours, like, 8 million? Yeah, like, <laughs> like it's like 2,000 for a, a, a hamburger, but it's 6,000 for a Big Mac. So, I, I have like two Big Macs worth. Adele says, they were your recipe, Crystal, so I won't be complaining. Oh, yay, I'm glad you tried them. Did they turn out well? Were you happy with them? Burger King isn't as good either, but so much better than McDonald's. Burger King, at least the one out here, got rid of their veggie patty and replaced it with the Impossible Burger, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but Burger King onion rings, amazing. I, I need some Burger King onion rings. That's 
you have pepper slices? Scratch peppers? Oh. Um, Burger King's onion rings, if you guys have never had them, they like puree the onion first, so you never bite into it and get that like onion that pulls out of the breading. It's just like pureed, and they're only this big, and you pop the whole thing in your mouth. Oh, best fast food onion rings ever. They're my favorite. Can, can you turn into whipped cream, please? I, I need you to be whipped cream. Six thousand for a happy meal. Don't encourage him, Brittany. Wendy still has the grilled chicken and salads. They're my go-to when I'm in a town with one. Um, I think all I can eat at Wendy's is the, I, I haven't been there in years, aside from like the Frosty, I can eat a baked potato and a salad, which is used to be at least a pretty cheap combination and, and pretty decent and filling. I prefer Jack in the Box onion rings. Eh, they're all right, but there's nothing like that pureed onion to just avoid having all that onion slide out, which always, happens. I have heard Freddy's any rings. Oh yeah, you don't have Freddy's. Yeah, I've never had a Freddy's. They did turn out well and no one has complained yet, so they must be good. Fair enough. Are you whipped yet? Raw onions are great. No, they're not. Uh, one of the guys I worked with came back from getting lunch today and he was like, man, the guy in front of me ordered a burger with no onions and then he ordered onion rings. And he like made a face and I was like, yeah, I don't want onions in my burger, but I like onion rings. So it's different. It's different. Onion rings have been cooked and the onion's softer. I don't want just sliced onions on my burger. Okay, we're just going to add slow. It's just kind of like spin arting it around the bowl. Did you guys have that when you were little where you would like squirt the paint onto the thing that was spinning? I've seen it. I didn't do it, but I, I had one. It. How did it work, okay? And it worked just like this. Did it work better than the Bill Nye the Science Guy recycle paper oh, machine? That thing was terrible. <laughs> well, what was it trying to do? I, look, it did the thing, it just didn't like make paper very well. Okay, I did let this cool. I'm adding it slowly. This seems to be working. There's chocolate everywhere. We're watching closely on the full, on the on the over whip cam right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're watching very closely. Here's the problem. See what it did? Like where the the chocolate's just all over the sides. <laughs> like half the chocolate didn't even get in there. What is Jack in a Box? Uh, fast food restaurant? Yeah, McDonald's with a different name. Best pretty much. tacos ever. Oh, their tacos are disgusting. I've never actually eaten one, but they're just disgusting to look at. Terrible. The, the last time I had them within the last year, they were like worse than normal. I think the last time we talked about this, somebody confirmed that they are pre-made and they just stick the whole taco in oil. Yeah, yes, yeah, right. but it, uh, yeah, it was pretty cheery the last time. <laughs> I think so as well. It, it's peaky. We're stopping. I don't want to overmix it. We're going with it. That's pretty good. Last time I think you went just a tiny bit you. more, but you want to stop to stop uh, while you're ahead. What do you guys think? I thought maybe it was like 5% more last time, but maybe, maybe we should stop our, what, while we're it's ahead. It's still pretty liquidy. It'll take a second here. We have a stip. We have one for stip. Any more stips? We have two for stop. Three for stop. Well, 
I like turtles. Tristan. What is Portolitos? Everybody said stop. Portillos. It's a... It's a... Like a Tostito? No, it's a... It is what it is. What can I do? Okay. Dan, I need the camera to back up. I need like everything out of the way so I can unroll this. not happy with this recipe. The cake is broken. This is still too liquidy. I don't know how this is going to work when I roll it up. When I make the uh, pumpkin roll, it's a cream cheese frosting, so it's so much thicker than this. So, I don't know. You're giving me some serious anxiety right now. You and me both. Like, since that first batch broke, I'm, I'm just... I'm doing this to finish it out. I'm not happy about it. At all. I moved in closer. Oh, good. You can watch me fail from up close. I do know from pumpkin roll, like, if you get too close to the edges, it's all just going to squirt out. This is so liquidy, I don't even know how this is going to roll. It does not seem like it's going to end well. And the cake's broken. But at least that's the part that's in the middle, so... It'll just roll up and be done. What you doing, Dan? Looking for the Dan part. No, oh, you've had too much already. Remember how you felt two pounds heavier? I had the bad slop. This is the light cold. fluffy slop. I think this is going to go really poorly. Do not anticipate this ending well. Um, if I made this again, I can tell you already, I would just go ahead and put some cream cheese in there. I was going to gonna say, this up. I was going to say, you're, you... Would want to put cream cheese in here? I could just tell that that that's how you do it, and the cream cheese really makes everything taste really good. Yeah, it wow. just wants to like squish. It's gonna it's gonna just squish out. This is terrible. Wow, this is like this is like a Gallagher sized bad roll blunt wrap. <laughs> look at this thing. Maybe you should look at the end of it. I'm so mad about this. Let's critique it. Hold on, we're gonna get down. How can I start off a new year with a crappy recipe? It's not even round. Oh, careful, because you're spilling cocoa powder everywhere. We're going in. We're going in closer. I'm not happy. Don't make this. Amanda, find a different recipe. <laughs> run, Amanda, run. It looks like a tree log. I'd eat it. We have one fried. Eat it. Who'd eat it? Let's hear in the chat. You can't eat it because you can't even slice it. And I think even after I... I need to get this out of here. If you yell at it, it's not going to taste good. Didn't you watch... Didn't you watch um, Ghostbusters 2? You no, have to talk, no, I did not. You have to talk sweet to the roll. Megan said, I'd eat it. Megan, I read your GED thing. Good job. I hope you do well on your test. And Jody with the super chat. If all fails, it's still delicious and edible. We'll see. We'll let you guys know tomorrow. Um, I need to get to here. I need to roll it up and get it in the fridge before it gets any gooier. Thank you for the super chat. People want to send it via printer. We're like 10 years away from that. Maybe a little more, but it'll happen. Don't just stare at it. Eat it. We can't because it's no, got No, you can't eat it. It always has to go in the fridge. Yeah. Any sort of roll has to like set in the fridge. It'll go out. But I'm scared to even move it. Adele said I'd eat it. It's still going to taste great, Christine said. It is. It's like the filling is falling out. It's not going to taste good if there's no filling. Hold on. I'm trying to get us to the, to the scene of the crime. Christine P says, just think, you got the one fail for the year out of the way. <laughs> the one fail. 
Oh, now it's, what is it? It's something peasy. Easy peasy, easy breezy, you pick. That when you thought it was going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but instead it's just difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Mm -hmm. Story of my life. So you just roll this up. I usually just do two sheets of foil side by side. Close off the ends. And chuck the whole thing in the trash. It looks like... It looks exactly the way pumpkin roll looks when I put it in the fridge. I'm going to put it in the fridge and we'll cut it open tomorrow and we'll see how it works. doesn't matter if it's ugly. You're not a restaurant. It still tastes good. Right. But if it's, if it's, first of all, it was thin and crunchy. Hopefully that softens up. If all the inside goos out, it's not going to be any good. It looks like a chocolate burrito. Yeah. I just don't see that whipped cream setting because it's not like a frosting. It's it, a whipped it, cream. It needs a cr cream cheese. Yes. Oh, there's no room in here. We're just going to stick that there and I will Tetris later when I'm not so frustrated. Well, there you have it. We left negative self-talk and negative thinking in 2022. I'm not being negative. I'm stating facts. Uh, this recipe, I do not recommend. My mitt is covered in cocoa powder. There's cocoa powder everywhere. I couldn't even put all the frosting in because it was going out everywhere. Look at Mooch's half Greg Luganus fold here coming off of the diving board. So, I know, Crystal, how to turn your frown upside down. How, Dan? We have, let's, let's give cats, let's make cats perform for us. Okay. Will that make I, you happy? I have to get all this chocolate off the counter before I can invite any cats over here. Okay, until then we'll snooze, we'll get this, this cat snoozing. We'll wake up Mooch with some snacks in just a second here. At least you have a Mooch roll. Oh, we do. Um, my last week adventure says I'm thinking of getting a mixer. Um, if you can afford it, and I know not everybody can. I, look, mine was a gift. I did not spend money on a KitchenAid mixer. <coughs> KitchenAid is the best brand. But before I had that, I had a Sunbeam mixer. And that lasted, I mean, you see how much I bake. And even not on camera, I pretty much bake that much. That thing lasted me probably five years. I got the oh. KitchenAid mixer, I gave it to my brother, and he used it till it literally died. I, I will say the other brand will do in a pinch, but it still had a little bit of complaints and frustration. But Yeah, but it, look, it, if you don't want to spend like $300 on a mixer, it works just fine. But this mixer that we got that's expensive has lasted a decade and a half. Yes. It's on 14 years, and it looks beautiful. It Absolutely. needs It needs an overhaul. But it is last, and Crystal bakes, I believe, higher than the average baker. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I bake at least once a week, and honestly, usually on Sunday, I'll make something else. Like, I bake on the show on Friday, and then on Sunday, yeah. I make something, yeah, you made something for breakfast Yeah, for you week. made something that's in the fridge right now. It was a big, tall banana cake. Uh, Patty says, might try to whip the chocolate cream portion before you add it to the whipped cream. That might help. Here's the thing. My goal is to find recipes that I can just use... If I sound frustrated, it's not at you. I'm frustrated at this recipe. I should not have to modify a recipe because the recipe doesn't work. If you're going to put a recipe on your blog, it should work. Period. Like, your recipe should just work. So I'm here to test out recipes to tell you guys that this is a good one or this is a bad one. I am not a fan of this recipe. I think there's several things we could do to make it work better. I would rather just make, like, the cream cheese filling and add some cocoa powder to it. I think that would be good. I agree. Um, there's lots of things that we could do to make this better, but I shouldn't have to make it better. You have a whole ass blog with all these recipes and you were like, you should try this one. And I'm like, yeah, look at your fancy blog with all these sweet potato souffles and things on the side. And your carrot cake looks amazing. However, this recipe is uh, crap. Don't try this recipe. <laughs> we'll see, look, I always reserve my, my judgment through the weekend. You guys, um, if you follow me on social media on the Getting Baked Crystal pages, you see I usually post on Sunday night. I like to see how it turned out the night of, try it the next day, and then try it the next day after that. I want three days worth of tasting and opinions before I'll say anything because I want to know, does it hold up? Do you have to hurry up and eat this the night you make it? Is it not good until the next day? Is it not good until two days later? Is it just crap? Is it good no matter what? All of these things factor into my opinion. So I'm not going to post anything on it yet. I'm not going to finalize my judgment until we open it up tomorrow and see if we can slice it, if that works. 
Um, but from what I've seen compared to when I make a pumpkin roll, this is not what I want it to be. Might still work. I mix all my ingredients at the store and buy cake and stuff already cooked. So much easier and it never goes wrong, right? <laughs> That's the way to do it. Turn the camera upside down. That'll turn her frown around. That might work. Oh, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> my show's over. <laughs> but no, they don't see what you see. So. Oh, okay. I don't know what you're doing because you hide me. Have you heard of Cherry Delight? No, I have not. I don't, I don't think so. Um, if you guys are on Facebook, I am going to make a new post asking you guys to suggest recipes. I do have a list of suggested recipes and I do try to work them in there depending on how I'm feeling and you know, ingredients I want to spend money on and whether I want another cookie recipe. Um, I am on a cookie hiatus right now. You guys saw I made so many cookies for uh, the holiday baking. There's no cookies on the show this month. No cookies at all. Uh, who's that cat behind you? That is Topo. Topo is uh, getting a drink of water. Topo, you want some snacks? You still want some snacks? We've got French Canadian snacks from Valerie, which uh, they've really been liking. They're almost gone already. Oh, can we get a camera on Mooch? Is that so we can watch him wake up? You smell it yet? No? Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Snacks. You should do hot cross buns this year for Easter. I do have it on the list and I have looked at recipes. Honestly, at the moment, I can't remember why I didn't do them, but there was a reason for that. Um, but I, that doesn't mean I'm never gonna make them. I can look into them. I'll send Dan a link to the Dr. Pepper cake I made. The icing was amazing. The cake, meh. I might have let it set out uncovered for too long. Yeah, that'll, that'll make it kind of meh. Are you going to catch it? Sit. Oh, good catch right in your mouth. Yeah, Adele, I will look into hot cross buns some more, but I that is one that's, I don't know if it was you or somebody else suggested it, but it was suggested and I did definitely look into um, different recipes and for some reason or another that I can't recall there there was a reason I chose not to. Roxy! Oh, you thought you caught it and you did it. Where'd it go? Well, they're all starting to get wind of it. Here comes Mama Cat. They're stretching and coming over here. Oh. Here comes the baby boy. Here comes the baby boy. Oh, look at you sitting so politely. Topo, let's get you out of here. Go get it. Topo will just eat everybody else's snacks, so he has to he be, is fast. He's he has to be sent out of the room with a snack. He's Pac-Man fast. And Mama's just gonna stare at it. Not the brightest one. Get it, Riz. <laughs> I threw it and it landed right on Rizzo's paw. And he's quick. <laughs> he is. There's one behind Kamiko's Sit. tail too. Sit, Topo. Good boy. Nice. Do you need another one? Good catch. Dang. Look at that one. Like, I'm not fetching that one. I'm retired. <laughs> there's one there, and then Kamika's missed them all. There's one by. There's one underneath the cabinet there, but we'll see which one gets it. Topo, you're so rude. Yeah, I'm so fast with that. Where's like precious and stuff sleeping? Oh, he on. doesn't get up for snacks. No, uh, he brings snacks to him. Yes. He used to stand up for snacks before he lived here, but now that he lived here, he, oh, I dropped it. Uh, these three still are very much a family. Uh, Adele says you'd probably have to pre-make the dough because they are yeast based and the show would be hours long otherwise. I think that might be why then. Yeah, anything that like you have to, I like to be able to show you guys the stuff. So sometimes I have um, dough that has to be refrigerated and I'll usually make like a half batch on the show or a half batch ahead of time. Um, and that would be a little hard with a bread thing. Okay, you go that way. Mama, you want some? Tell your babies no. <laughs> Jody says, Rizzo, why are you so cute? Isn't she though? Mama cat's a snuggler too. Uh, I had her 
You know how like you hold Moosh and Topo? I had her on my lap today, up on her back, snuggling me, and I was just petting yeah. her head. Oh yeah, she's she's a snuggler. She likes Terry a lot. She snuggles on Terry a lot. But yeah, Mama Cat's definitely a snuggler. Right, Sit. More action. Good boy. You gonna catch it? Oh, almost. Rizzo. Come here, Rizzy Riz. Rizzo. Oh, your mama got it. Rizzo. Rizzo. I'm Riz. sure Kitty's standing at the edge of the bed like, where's my steps? Come here, Rizzo. She is. Rizzo. Rizzo. Hey, that's you. Rizzo. Here, Riz. She'll go around the tiny. How about you, Mama Cat? Oh, big boy. Sit. Good boy. I heard her when I heard she left the room. That's all I heard too. Just crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, I threw that one right into the fridge. We just cleaned everything out from under the fridge too. Dang, you're so greedy, Topo. You know you can afford to miss Where's a few Rizzo? deals. Uh, she went around the corner and I put a little pile for her. A uh, beer mug sent the cake uh, recipe. Awesome. I will check that out. You might want to have it. Okay, awesome. Here is. She's like, no, I don't want to come in here with all those cats. All right, that's fair. Uh, the Cherry Delight has a graham cracker crust, whipped cream, cream cheese, vanilla extract, and cherry and sugar. I'll have to look up that recipe. I like cherry. Dan really likes cherry. I do. I don't like to pull the seeds out of them, but I like the other parts <laughs> about the cherries. You like maraschino cherries? Yes, definitely. You like sugar cherries? <laughs> and Jody says, Dan's pie socks, they're pizza! Pizza and beer. Oh, well, I think soda. you had enough. It just says, y'all should, it just says Vans on the cans. <laughs> Dan has on socks? I know, right? <laughs> Uh, Linda had a question for you a little up the chat. Well, thank you. I missed that because I was feeding the cats. Uh, 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 uh. Do you ever look through the cookbooks I made you for recipes to use on a Friday? I yeah. do. I do. Absolutely. I, I look through all kinds of things and I feel bad when I don't use things people suggest, but it doesn't mean I'm never going to use it. Like I have a list and I just, I have yep. to feel out like how the day is going to go for me. Um, factor in like ingredients and what I can use together with things I have for other things. There, there's lots that go Those binders it. are super rad. Yes. Ow, that was my finger, dude. Okay, sit. We Good should, boy. We should deliberately pull something out of there and check it out. He Whoa, caught that with his mouth. He did. He did. Oh, Nico. All right, that's all for snacks for you. You're gonna ruin your. Yeah. You're, you're gonna ruin your dinner. one more. You're just sitting so pretty. All right, that's enough. Uh, thank you, Valerie, for the uh, yes. the Canadian snacks. They really like Canadian temptations. <laughs> uh, after all letting you know, they make machines to pull the cherry stones out. Have you thought oh, about that? A machine for a cherry. Sounds like too much effort. He'll just eat the sugar cherries. Yeah. All right, so that is it for tonight. Say goodbye, Mooch. Goodbye, Mooch. Before we wrap it up, though, Crystal, um, boom, there's a calendar. Oh, yeah. If you guys have not seen it, there is our calendar. Uh, next week, Terry was able to choose the recipe. I had her pick something that she wanted for her birthday, and she said blueberry and lemon. And so we looked and looked and looked, and we found blueberry lemon cheesecake squares. Again, I am on a cookie hiatus. I'm not making cookies this month at all. So next week we're making blueberry lemon cheesecake squares. Everything I've made that's been a cheesecake square has worked really well and I love making like bars more so than a, a cake or something. So I think that's going to go really well. I really hope so. Uh, tomorrow we're doing a regular episode of Dantics. We've got some fun categories for you guys. Next Saturday is the three year anniversary of Dantics. It's been three years since Dan first turned on the, the camera and started trying to find questions on his phone and had you guys call in and answer them. So we're gonna do a special anniversary call-in show. And because we're not doing 
uh, Wednesday shows this month, aside from the one on Terry's birthday. You guys join us for Mario Kart on the 18th. We're going to do Pictionary on the 21st. Instead of doing it on a Wednesday, we'll do that on a Saturday night. Maybe more people can join in. Uh, got tiebreakers? I got it. Don't you worry. Dan apparently likes ties, so I don't know. Um, we're making a toffee almond coffee cake. Doesn't that sound delicious? Oh my God, I'm really excited for that one. Like, I wanted to move that up, but I'm like, oh, I gotta make Terry's birthday thing before her birthday. But I'm really excited for the, the toffee almond cake. And then uh, on the 27th is the 100th episode of Getting Baked Crystal. Can you guys believe we made 100 recipes? Really? 100? Yeah, it blows my mind. I can't I believe we've done oh, that awesome. much. Uh, awesome. On the very first episode, we made my Aunt Terry sugar cookies, but I never showed you guys how to make them. So... I don't know what I'm gonna do actually because they still have to be refrigerated ahead of time. I might just give you guys the recipe and if you wanna bake along, you can make them ahead of time. Um, and we're gonna cut some cookies. You guys can suggest things. That's what we did that night when we did it the, for the first show. Um, we had people suggest like things. I have a box of 100 cookie cutters and we can just kinda <coughs> cut out whatever we want. So we'll do some stuff with that. We'll, we'll cut some, some cookies and then we'll decorate some cookies and just kinda have some fun on the 100th episode I know, of wow. Getting Baker Crystal. No, by fast. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a hundred. That went by fast, and I know a lot of you have been here for a little while. Uh, oh, that was topo. A lot of the recipes have been ones that I know and and love that I've shared with you mm. guys, but I've tried a lot of new recipes, which I really like. Yeah. I, I've kind of gotten a feel for like things that I like and don't like. So you are doing cookies. It's an anniversary show. I have to. It's different. <laughs> yeah, technically, you got me. Yes. But at the end of the month, I, I took a month off from making cookies. Not the month, a month? Yeah. Yeah, does that oh, work? Last month. Yeah. We made so many cookies. <laughs> All yeah. right, guys. We're out yes. of here. Make see you sure you join trivia. us tomorrow night. We will be trying the roll and seeing if it works. I don't have faith, but who knows? We may be pleasantly surprised. We've got some fun categories, so show up tomorrow night and uh, test your trivia knowledge with us. Thank you, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you. Yay. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out oh. tonight. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, hit the like button on your way tomorrow out. Tomorrow we will try it out. Yes, that's show. what I said. Yeah, we'll try we'll it try and, and see if show. we are pleasantly surprised. I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. We'll see. Yes. Bye, everybody. Have a good Bye, night. Bye, guys. Have a good Friday night. night. My kids in the background may be here waiting for uh, oh, the, the cat cam's gone. Oh, the cat cam's gone. No! no.